Welcome, welcome yes. to another week of BKS1Radio.com with the ladies of Al. My name is Miss Lee. Chris Christie, the governess. Drama Free C. Trey K. And your lady, Miss Hay. And only women. Wear high heels. Al! What's up, ladies? What's going on? Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Well, How was you. everybody's oh, week? Thank you. Great, great. It was good. It was good, you know. Had a good week, you know. The baby is doing some things, you know. He starting to, you know, he invented like a little slide in the house. I gotta show you. <laughs> I saw video. the video. You saw the video. I, I want to see what kind of slide. He's out of control. He took the cushion off the couch and he was jumping on it like he was doing a, a eight ball in a pool, like bam. Uh, and like we're, bam. we're potty training, so you know. Uh oh. How's that working? Anyway, out? the bathroom smell like pee. <laughs> 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 I got the extra pine saw, but. He's doing good, and my other two, my oldest son is at the house right now with him. He don't know I'm holding him hostage because I got to work tomorrow. Oh. I know. Egypt got me on a job on Saturday. Uh-oh, got you working, huh? He don't know I'm holding him hostage. He think he going home in the morning, but I'm going to be gone when he get out. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, man. Uh-huh. Hope he ain't watching now. Oh, you know, oops. oops. I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be watching. <laughs> Drama free? Mommy just, look, mommy just playing. Just playing. How was your week? How was your day? It was cool. I ain't really too have much too much drama. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I do what I do normally. That's it. Mm. Can't complain about nothing. The governess. My week was interesting. A lot of planning. I have a great photo shoot tomorrow. Awesome. With a awesome. couple of clothing designs. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, all right. And uh, show also, some love. show some love. I'm. I. I kind of feel like Miss Lee this week with the cops. Mm. Oh uh, no. See, it wasn't my week. This I got time. pulled over. Oh no. Come in here. Oh. He always music. get you coming here for some oh, reason. Oh, your music? My music. He told me to turn my music down. I think he was just mad because he was on my left-hand side of the, um, the street, and I was on the right, and he heard the music, and I ain't turned it down because he was next to me, so he's just going to pull me over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Did he, he didn't give you a ticket, did he? No, but it did take me a minute to find my license, so he probably was prepping that ticket. Oh, well, I'm glad <laughs> you said yeah, that. You, you got to pull out a fake ticket I'm and say, you, you know what? Me. I already got a ticket for that already. And how was your week, <laughs> Miss Hayes? Mm, my week... It was good. It was good. You know what? My week was excellent, actually. Movie coming out, so that was great. Um, you want to tell us about that movie that's Absolutely. Coming out? No Surrender, coming out June 27th, All premiering right. at uh, the Fabian Theater in Patterson, New Jersey. So, big shout out to the No Surrender team. I'm excited about that. Okay. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes. First of all, we need to give you a proper introduction because don't nobody know, know you. you. I'm not oh, actually, you. you know what? Let's rewind. Okay. Did y'all notice we had a fifth person on the panel? Yes, yes. A new Three, face. Four, a new face. Yes. We don't yes. have four. We have five. Yeah, we got a new face. She joined BKS1 and the ladies of Al. I'm excited. I ain't going to lie. Welcome. What's That's up, perfect. ladies? Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. No Ms. lie. Hayes. No Miss Hayes is in the building. Yes, yes. I don't think that's the only thing that's in the building right now. How you spell Hayes? Is that like Hayes Ooh, the Hayes or is that? Not that, <laughs> Trey, not that one. H-A-Y-E-S. Oh, okay. The uh, ha, yes. The ha. Yeah, here we go. Ha, yes. Don't get used to it too much. He's on probation. Ooh. <laughs> How long does probationary period it. last? 60 days. Listen. Oh. I love it. Listen to Norm. Norm, Norm, Tell Norm. him you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going I'm nowhere. Here. I'm here. So, I'm here. I miss Hayes. But I'm curious. You didn't say who else is in the building with you, Miss Hayes. Oh. Yeah. And the symbolism behind okay. it. Okay. You know what? Um, my dog, my son, Oscar Austin, the, the toy Yorkie, he's here. Well, well happy and Mother's <laughs> Day. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. He's here because, you know, Oscar, he's a symbolism of... Um, I want the young ladies out here to stop walking around trying to get babies and, and go get a pet or thank you pick up a book or I something. I like it. I like it. Yeah, so, yeah. Get you, know, you a dog and see if that works out. You know, it, it, it's it's hard. It's tough. He's just like a kid. So uh, yes. you get one of you get a dog like that, and then you'll think twice about having a kid right it's away. Well, that's why I can't have no pets because I got babies and that's how I feel. See? I ain't trying, trying to feed another nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. No more and he can't work. Them can't talk. They can't do yeah, nothing. Yeah, and that's the dog. What's up. Just you know, perfect. A dog ain't never gonna feed itself. Hey, he tried, but you no, we can't. We can't let him do that. He tried to get a job sometimes, but <laughs> well, my week was know. my week was all right. I didn't do anything special. Did so you get in any trouble though? I didn't get in any trouble. I didn't do um, anything different. I just had a really good week. No problem with the cops. I think I passed it to my left, so I'm That's all good. good with that. That's good. That's Tonight good. we got in the studio with us. We have the cast of Thinner Blood. Yeah, we have yes. the DJ and producer of KG. 
of Naughty by Nature. We have Deidre Tate coming down. Tonight we're going to be talking about verbal abuse. Wow. We're going to have a great show tonight. I'm yes, looking forward yes, to it. Yes, we are. Oh, there's the baby. Mm -hmm. The baby All just right. ran. Here's the visual. The baby just ran. Can you, have, can you get him? Can, can no. we get the visual? No, the, the, no you the, want to pick up the the she, she came, she, she, is that came, a mouse? Wait, no. he came. He came straight to mommy. That's a mouse. <laughs> See, he can't be roaming. We this is an exclusive. Miss mm -hmm. Hayes and her An animal. Oh, and my son. And this normally don't happen in the studio. BKS one. This is definitely an exclusive. Yeah, well, out, well, hi, well hold on, Norm. Norm. Uh, Jermaine gonna be here next week. Let's see how that work out. Check this out. There's no babies allowed to be cast. <laughs> he don't even make no noise. There's really no doggies allowed to be cast. He don't even bark. And this your friend. You was playing catch with him last time. Absolutely. Oh, but wow. that was off hours. See? All right. During shows, See? no babies, no dogs. I I'm still were getting kicked off the show. And no haters at BKS. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, you okay, I'm saying dog they can bring dogs, but I can't bring the baby. The I baby, he's my accessory, you know. Yeah. He goes with me wherever I go. Check this out. What if my man was my accessory? I'm going to say it right now. But your now. man might start talking. He don't say nothing. If, I see what you start. If, if a baby comes, if you bring a baby tray, he better know how to work a camera. Oh, <laughs> oh dang. Or flip a switch. <laughs> Terrible. I said I'm not big enough. Yeah, That's I said I'm not saying. big enough for all that. Because <laughs> I'm going to put him to work. Any babies or dogs. Matter of fact, Oscar, go right now. Check that monitor in there. You know what? He'll do it. He'll do it. That is funny. So say we're gonna keep Oscar on the panel with us all night, no. just for a little while. All, all right, little bit, you wanna keep <laughs> just so you get just so you get sick of us. Oh, Oscar! Did y'all hear about Foxy Brown um, drama for you? Gonna give us some hot topics? Yeah, no problem. You ready? Yeah, we're uh -oh. ready for. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. No, no problem. No warning. No nothing. <laughs> Anywho, Foxy Brown. I'm pretty sure everybody heard about this about two days ago. She just came out and just was spilling like. Mm. She just mm. broke some eggs or something and everything running everywhere. Foxy Brown claims that Jay-Z gave her gonorrhea. Boo. Wow. And that he took her virginity. Boo. Who cares? I believe it. At 15. Oh, no. Okay, who so cares? how many years is that? <laughs> I'm just like, why? Why why now? why now? You know, I guess it's your tell-all moment, your 15 fin minutes of, you know, get back in the fame but life. The, but she wants thing, to come back. But the thing about that is, we all know Jay-Z is from the Marcy Projects. Mm -hmm. He was a project dude. Mm -hmm. He did dirt. Mm -hmm. And he a grown man now. So why are you coming out now and... Why didn't you put it in a book and make some money? Like, why you just put that out there for free? I'm mm. wondering why is she putting it out there and that she got an STD? Why is she doing that? What's the point? She wants some money. She broke. She's trying Pretty to come much. back. Allegedly. This, yes, definitely. Mm. This definitely. Definitely. Allegedly. Allegedly. She's broke. I'm just like, oh. Maybe she wants some of that Beyonce confrontation. I don't know. Maybe Beyonce Maybe should punch Beyonce. her in the face. Ooh. Wow. The word on the street, though, Bow. is her gag order. Her legal gag order is up. Oh. This is why now. Because Jay Z had her under a gag order. Wow. You know, but can I say allegedly. this? Allegedly. Can allegedly. I, can I say this? I'm sure that everybody that knew about this wasn't under a gag order. So why is it just coming out now? Well, mm -hmm. she also said exactly. some other things, which which C didn't say yet. I didn't so even I'm, get a chance yeah, to. Yeah, that's what, that's what <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm waiting sorry. on the bombshell. I'm waiting on that bombshell. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead. Flex, drop bombs on it. No, I'm just playing. Boom. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Anywho, she also claims that Jay Z is into tranny men. So, oh. yeah, that's another bomb. Hey. I'm gonna believe that too. Wow. Boom, boom pow. That too. Mm. Wow. Boom, boom, mm. pat out. I'm sorry, our mm. listeners. He, he's what? He's he's, he's into trannies. Oh, cause mm. I thought you said he's into training men, but you said no, 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 trannies. <laughs> another Mr. C moment. <laughs> Oh, allegedly. Alleg yeah, allegedly. You're going to say allegedly. allegedly. I'm just saying, it's whatever allegedly. now, whatever it is, that's his allegedly. business. Like, I she agree. Remember you said the other girl disappeared. <laughs> allegedly. Get with it. allegedly. She got to watch herself. Allegedly, she's white. Be swimming with the fishes. You better be, you better mind your business and she be careful. Be you better go back to freaking <laughs> sitting there making them raps or something. <laughs> she tripping. Well, she can't rap because, well, I heard, I can't say this is true, but I heard that they were writing her raps. Mm. Well, yeah, everybody. Be. But, well, but most people. I'm not gonna say everybody. No, most not people. Everybody. So that's why she ain't really doing nothing right now because you can't write for yourself. You can't rap for yourself. I don't really think you're a rapper if you can't rap for yourself. That's just me. That's like being a writer and somebody writing for you. Well, but guess what? Too, she also said. She also said that at 15, you know, when she was in high school, he was blinging it out, buying it this, buying it that. So he pretty much kind of bought her. And she's like, in the midst of that, that helped her with her career. And she also supposedly, allegedly had a threesome with him and Jamie Foxx. Oh. Mm. So the Jamie plot Fox thickens. 
Wow. Then that's wow. true. Because Jamie don't lie. Hmm. He, no put, lie. he put a lot of his stuff public. M- Mr. Guy. Eric. But did he have a three-way mm. Eric Bennett? Yeah, mm. I think that's his real name. Well, Eric Bennett. some things was in the works for the Owl Show because, just hmm. to let y'all know, Foxy Brown's publicist is our one and only Love Logan that's associated with Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, no. We had Ooh. enough of that. Ooh, ain't nobody got time. We had enough of that. Uh. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Mm. She may be we, coming in. Oh, no. Tonight? Not tonight. Not to be on a show with no, us. No, to be a guest. Oh, oh okay. Why? Oh, I thought you meant to be oh, one the of guest us. Is fine, but I was about to say, Lord here, Jesus, help lot. us. No, I think we may be fine with, with the crew now. Oh, God. I was well, she's still on probation. Wow. Ooh, let me just, let me let the red. I'm on probation. What you talking about, Miss? He C? said you was on probation. Mm. And not, not. What you talking about, Will? Did you. <laughs> uh, also, Mr. Jay Z supposedly allegedly shared an apartment with an NFL baller. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. Who, who once repped Rockaway? Oh. Oh. Wow. Please, um, see, don't say Ooh. Larry Johnson's name. Oh. <laughs> ah. no. And you said it. No. <laughs> allegedly. 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 I don't want no. I don't want no parts. Well, they got lip gloss on. You better be careful. They they got a lot going mm-hmm. on with no parts. So I see some lip it, gloss on their mouth. Yeah, yeah. all this, ballistics. all that Larry Johnson. It is came from several dot coms on the internet. So yes, it's not just. We ain't, it ain't just BKS reporting it. This is all yeah, over the internet. This is all over the internet. Mm-hmm. So. Yes, yes. I'll oh. call them later and make sure. That's why we keep saying that. allegedly. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes. It's on 50. Sometimes, this is 50.com. Yeah, also. sometimes silence <laughs> is just golden. So sometimes you just got to be quiet. And if you were affected by somebody taking advantage of you at 15 years old, you should be seeking therapy. Mm. You should be talking to your mama because where was she at? Because mm. my 15 year old daughter ain't going to come home blinged out, a fur coat, fancy boots and shoes and mm. Fendi bags and, you ain't and Prada boots. And I'm like, where you? I'm not going to say where you get that from. Not even if she gave you one of them purses, though. <laughs> no, 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 my mother ain't giving me no. no. You know, like I said, at 15, her mother should have been on that. But we need to find out where her mother was. So well, just sometimes, sometimes you can have a, a, a strict mother or a good mother, and kids can go astray. Wait, not, not that far. Yeah, like that. That's I'm a little just bit much. Saying. First of all, if you mm. go to school looking like a, I don't. You don't regular, know how regular. No, no, I'm not judging uh-huh. somebody's lifestyle. You have to listen to what I'm saying. You, you what I'm saying finished. to you is, if you go into school looking like a schoolgirl, mm-hmm. you can't come home looking like you freaking America's Next Top Model or something. It just doesn't go. Like, what the heck happened? Where do well, you what think? if she happened what? to take some clothes to school in her book bag and switch them up before she got okay, home? Okay, but where are these things coming from? That's the whole point of it. Where are these things come from? Where's she getting this Prada Gucci, all of this stuff from? Where's she getting this two thousand dollar Brazilian hair? Wait, can I say this as a from mother? Your house. Wait, can Ooh. I just? I, you know what? Can I just say this as a mother? I monitor my children. Like they don't know. I look through their stuff. Mm. I know what's you going should. on. Not because my son. My son could go to school and change into whatever he want to change into. I'm gonna see something in my house that don't make no sense. Especially if somebody is blinging you out, like she said. Jay Z was taking her on shopping sprees. I ain't buy that shirt. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I ain't buy them pants. I exactly. do the laundry. Why every other week you got three new shirts or? some jeans that i know i didn't buy where you getting these clothes from right exactly so she just like i said where was her mama at anyway. and supposedly he was 27 at the time Shame well, on was he mama. 50 now i mean how old is jay-z he he gotta be he's like jay-z gotta be like 44 really Damn. and is it probably even older than that but at this point who the hell cares what? Yeah, right. so go on, drama free, like you said. I don't give a damn. This show ain't asking ask me nothing. <laughs> next, so the next thing I want to talk about is um, Netflix. They don't lost their damn mind, people. Uh-oh. What's going on with Netflix? Netflix is freaking dropping nearly two thousand movies. Why? Y'all know about this? Oh, y'all, y'all learn about that? They need, to, they need to increase two thousand movies. When mm-hmm. they dropping movies? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Are they dropping a price? I mean, I'm it's negative. Now, but I'm just saying. Negative. Why? What's going on is that they're dropping, I guess, older, more so older movies like you know, um, Frankenstein, Goldfinger, Dracula, things like that. So as of Wednesday, seventeen hundred, um, seventeen hundred movies were dropped. The goal is, like I said, two thousand. So with the mass. Pretty and how it actually started to wind up dropping is that their deals are expiring with MGM. Mm. But, but the, like like um, Miss Hayes said, are they dropping their price? Negative. And oh. I'm getting ready to get into that too. And okay. the reason why they're not dropping it, the reason why they're not dropping their prices is because now they're trying to add certain things. Okay. And what they want to add is um, Viacom, which includes Nickelodeon mm. and MTV, BET. Things like that. Okay. Oh, that's a good I business. Move. Yeah, yeah. I see where they're going with it. Well, that's a good business move. 
we'll we'll see. Like I said, we'll see. But now, also the next problem is you have Warner Brother. Uh-huh. Now Warner Brother is trying to launch their own stream. Warner Brother. Oh, no. I so brother. it's <laughs> hello. Oh, so they're gonna take. They're gonna, gonna want to take their movies. I want a brother. You want a brother? You want a brother? Want a big brother. You want a nice brother? Not a brother. You want somebody like, else's brother? brother? You want a want a brother? <laughs> I'm talking about a brother. Like a brother, a brother. We just want a man. A she said want a brother. No. She ain't say want a brother. We said want a brother. She said she want a brother. She said want a brother. We said want a brother. Would y'all be quiet down there? I'm trying to understand. Do your hot topics because they didn't lost their damn mind down there. Seriously. Shout out to Dana in the chat. And both of them got a man, so I don't even understand what want a brother they want. I thought they got him. Talking about that one out there, but go ahead. Oh, oh, okay. Let, yeah, let's clarify. Yeah, let's clap let's it up. Let's clarify and yeah, clean it up. Yeah, yeah, clean it up real <laughs> fast. Yeah, I want a brother. She must have forgot he was out there. No, he was. I thought he was looking. That's what I thought. Oh, oh you cleaning but, it up real But well. anywho, like I said, want a brother. At, they're good tra- at that. <laughs> <laughs> want a brother. They're charging nine ninety nine for their issues mm. and their movies and their streaming that they're trying to launch. Oh. But Netflix, they still are early, only charging seven ninety nine. Oh, Dana says she want a man too. <laughs> Hello, Dana. <laughs> Dana in the chat room. What kind of man, Dana? What kind of man oh, you want, Dana? Oh, goodness gracious. So that's exactly what's going on with Netflix. Hopefully they get their life together. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that y'all dropping all these damn movies. You know but y'all what? better get it together what? quick. Maybe since they dropped those movies, we should start our own yeah. little website and we play nothing but old movies. Oh, for those for the for the for the, for the old movie lovers I that like don't get that. to see those movies on a regular the basis. Little little people who like, okay. The little entrepreneur in the end. You got know, ideas. There's some right. people who might like that. Let's talk what later. you think, Trey? I think so. Let's talk later. Bam. Why I just gotta be you talking later? Bam. Why? You want in? Why you all uh, she okay. want in on it? You know she said us. Moving along. Hater. <laughs> So, anywho, <laughs> back, back to the uh, hot, hot topic, topic drama Thank you. report. You know what I mean? It's cool. Let's talk about something real positive. Miss Eve. Hey. Yes. Miss um, Pitbull in a Skirt, as she calls it. Ooh. She is coming out with a brand new album called Lip Lock. Yes, All right, now. Is. I don't like that new song. Oh. Did I say that oh, out loud? shit. I sure Trey. did. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, she just released a 30 snippet. 30 seconds. <laughs> Sniffing up her new song <laughs> on her forthcoming album, mm-hmm. Lip Lock. And you just, just looked, said you didn't like it. She so. looked pretty. Okay. I'm but sorry. Yeah, but she's coming out with a whole new image. Okay. And what I have to say is actually I'm really proud of her because what she's trying to do is be very much so different. And what she's trying to represent is encourage black women. Okay. And it's more so like a pop pop music, pop friendly, a mentor, respectful kind of vibe versus you know the pit bull in the skirt and the Nicki minaj approach so i have to commend mm. her well that's good because you got to grow up sometime you can't be a crazy rapper your whole life yeah okay. you're a grown woman you okay. probably gonna get married and have some kids so. yeah, and this is mm. her fourth album after you know 11 years oh, so right. yeah yeah you know all right eve. but i but i bet one thing that you guys did not know miss eve is the U.S. female ambassador for the Big Brother Big Sister of America? Oh, That's what's up. Right. Go yeah. ahead, let's, let's get it, girl. So it makes sense to why she's doing this type of music and exactly. she's tying it all in with her movement. All right, oh. now exactly. Well, that song I heard wasn't positive, but anyway, That's big. Eve, we would love to e- interview you on the Movement Magazine. Okay. Since you're you have a positive cause, you know we're big on that, on giving back to the community. So kudos to you on that. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Eve. Holla at us, girl. Holla at us. <laughs> what y'all really want? <laughs> oh, can't touch. Wow. <laughs> um, oh. but for some mm, some drama, a little bit. Let me talk about Weezy real quick. And the problem that I'm having is um, mm, 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 mm. between him being sick and all of his other issues that he got going on, not seeing his kids. I don't understand. A study was done by Facebook and it actually grasped um, a bunch of attention through um, Yahoo and it says that Lil Wayne has the dumbest fans Oh mm. no! Really? Oh, no, not Why? the dumbest fans. She said, "Oh no, not the dumbest fans." I'm wow. glad I'm not a fan. Praise God, I ain't either. Mm. Okay, like mm. I said, according, according to sorry, Little Wayne, just according, not a fan. Yeah. According to him, how they graded it was just like SAT scores. You know, when you score this, you you're in this bracket. When you score that, you're in that bracket. X, Y, and Z. So, right. it was from compared to colleges across the U.S. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're all in my business. I, 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 Mind I, your business I, I and do your hot you. topics. You right. Anywho, Weezy fans business. score eight, like an 876. Oh. Which Ooh. was horrible. Mm-mm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, which gave him the title to have the dumbest fans. While fans who actually liked groups as far as Counting Crows and Radiohead, they raked in the 1200. Oh, wow. wow. Mm. So I'm just wow. like, that's amazing. Also, too, the more smarter people were interested in Beethoven, mm-hmm. not Wayne. Really? And well, they scored a, a perfect 1600. So it's, it's just like, wow. And it, it definitely makes sense. Like, what you listen to, you actually start to absorb. And even the people who were even, scored even higher than the 1600, of course, they actually fell in love with Jay-Z and Eminem's style. And the reason why is because they said that they have a different and unique style and they compare their music to classical music. Okay. Oh, okay. Is it, it's very interesting. Is it because their lyrics, possibly, the way they captivate? Yes. Well, okay. it's, it's just their lyrics, just how they put the, the projection um, of the voice possibly because they have that captivating voice those two i don't know i really yeah, think it's, it's, it's actually the quote yeah. is because eminem and jay-z songs have such unique rhythms and flows that come off as fresh and fun for those who study classical right nice oh nice, okay. so, nice. I, I mean i could see that because honestly when you go to their concerts i mean honestly you're you really are captivated i mean mm-hmm. i'm speaking for myself when you go to little wayne concert i don't know i feel like i just want to pass out um i mean I don't know. I put a quote up about that the other day. I mean, Lil Wayne fans, he's passing out. He's having seizures like every other day. It's like, and you're following this guy. I'm just, I'm just curious. I don't know. Okay. I yeah. don't get it. He just need to lay off them drugs. And I don't maybe, think you know, allegedly, but maybe he just needs to just, he needs some love, relax. but maybe he just needs to take a break and go to the doctor because something is triggering the seizures. Maybe mm-hmm. he just needs to stop, go see a doctor. Right. And chill. For a, a real minute. doctor. Yeah. Right. A real doctor. Mm-hmm. Not, you know. Not Birdman. Not Doctor. <laughs> Y'all ain't right, got son, no Get up out sense. that bed. You fine. Get on I'm that I'm done with you. Yeah. I know. I am done with you. I just want to throw a little bat out out there just, real quick. I just flatlined. <laughs> Why the hell is Bobby Brown joining the oh damn gosh. house? The house husbands of Hollywood. The hell the hell that's called. I, I don't know. I don't know. I need a check. I don't know. I'm don't just know. like, are you serious? You I'm know just what? not feeling him. Wait period. a minute. I think What's Bobby Brown can bring some humor to that, honestly. I don't I'm, think no, it's no, funny. no. I'm tired of Bobby. We Chris we was Rock. done with Bobby and Whitney. Go sit your ass down. Ooh. Get married. <laughs> raise the rest of them kids because you wasn't watching Bobby Christina. Look what the hell happened. She dating the brother. Oh. <laughs> Next, she's going to be pregnant. She dating don't her start. brother. Girl. It's her stepbrother. It's her stepbrother. It's they date. Brother. Her adopted brother. Oh, they, oh Lord. Yeah. Well, after, se- after seven years. Oh, kind of long. Long. They married. Hear that. You know what? Well, I'm lost too. They married. I've been in yeah. my own world. I ain't gonna lie. I've been in my world grinding hard. I ain't got time to be thinking about these. Right. these, these but these, they these said that right after her death, though. Nothing. I'm just saying. Sorry. I like your eyeshadow. Trey, you know what? That's, like, that's real cute. Any more hot topics? Yellow. I appreciate that. Now y'all can do what y'all do. I appreciate you. <laughs> Shout really, out to Drama really Free C really for the hot topics report. Drama Free. I really do. Thank you, boo. Thank you. You're crazy. All right. You're crazy. I love it, girl. Right. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? What you think? This is what I'm thinking. I saw Beyonce. You know, she's about to, governess is about to do her fashion segment. Mm-hmm. And I can't wait till we see mm-hmm. this dress that Beyonce <laughs> was wearing. I don't care what nobody say. You can say you like it only probably because Beyonce had it on. But this was hideous. And here you go. Here's the picture. Uh-oh. First thing I'm going to say, if you yeah, guys look it. into that. And this is the governess speaking to you right now. Mm. Well, let them know. The thigh high boots, though, with the gown. Yeah. And all of this extra, like, what, what's up with the belt and the gloves? Like, you know I'm not a Beyonce fan already. So I really, when I saw this picture, I really was like, she done turned it out. She done turned well, it out. it looks out. like a couch, too. I'd rather have mm-hmm. put that other outfit on with the other, you know, some the drapes. showing and stuff. Oh, no, no. I'll, this do, is I'll way deal with better. that one before you know I deal with this. You know how you used to visit your grandmother and she used to have <laughs> the couch. The couch. <laughs> the couch. The grandma that, couch. that dress was terrible. It was horrible. It was, it was horrible. Yeah. What about this one? All right, guys. We just got finished talking about the amazing Eve. But who you think is rocking this dress better, Eve or Little Kim? Hmm. Little Kim shape Don't look is at rocking her face. it. But Don't look at her face. I got to say Little Kim. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I got to give it to is Little it Kim on that Is it because Eve ain't got a bra on? No, I just got to say, you know, little Kim looks better in a dress. Like I'm going with Eve. I'm going to have to go with little Kim on that one. The curves is really popping in that. 
So I think, I think, I it, think looks it looks too big on Eve. because she got a fake butt and stuff. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying I think the dress looks too big on Eve. Like I it's, don't know. it's hanging off. I, don't, oh, okay, I didn't yeah, even I realize honestly that it was the same dress. To yeah. be honest with you, it looked like two it different. Looked a, it looks a little different though. It's, it's by the same designer. So oh, yeah. so wait, different. I don't know about that. Them but look like two different that? dresses. This and yes. this haze. Them is two different dresses in my eyes. Well, Eve still look better. Let's get to Solange. Oh gosh. Now you know Solange went natural. Big ups to natural hair. She been mm-hmm. natural. Yeah. Boo! But ain't nothing but ain't nothing wrong with a perm. Oh, mm-hmm. cause I'm sure about to get mine. Well, if you got that good hair that curl up, you ain't got to worry about all that brown. Nah, I ain't got it. Like oh, the governess. Girl. I'm a little, I'm a little nat, but I got that good, good on the side too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. Yeah. They ain't nothing but S curl. So, so, so your yeah. point? What? They ain't nothing but S curl. S curl the blue so, box. Is this uh, hate? I uh, know it's the texture right there. It's in a green box, botanicals. <laughs> See, look, I know about it. I use it. Y'all is haters. Listen, I love it. It Anyways, looks good on you. We well, Solange ain't stunting with hers That's because cute. she got on this big Afrocentric wig. Anyways, I think she looked fly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she does. I, mean, she does. I, I give it to her. I think she looked. I fly. think she still should have wore her hair, but she looks nice. I think she outshined. Do you everybody. think her and her sister had some beef on that um, red carpet though? No, huh? no, no. I don't think they let this stuff get to them. <sighs> nah, I don't think. Let me so. tell you something. I think when they beef or they got any type of issue, they going shopping. Mm. What any woman want to do. Yep. You know what Together. I got an attitude? I'm going shopping. Mm-hmm. Hello. She'll be fine in about an hour. Shout out to Nancy in the chat room. Hey, Nancy. And Arturo. How y'all doing? Hey. Glad you guys are How tuning in. Do? Love Show you guys. Right. Okay, what was up with this dress? This problem. Ooh. Was this a curtain? What this? is this about? But you don't understand. Do you see the sleeve? What I don't her fingers. Is it like a camouflage? I like, don't. Only thing I see is a leg. They played her out so What's that lizard called? With this dress. What fashion designer told her to wear this? This is what? ridiculous. Kanye. This Kanye. Is, listen, I'm going to tell y'all. Yo, yo I would have said, honey, you stay home. I go out. That's what I would have said. Let me tell y'all. Don't Kanye come said. with me with that dress on. You wait, know, it's shoe, not working. Wait, Kanye the said. has it too. Kanye oh. said, wear that dress so I can look good. Yeah, exactly. Come on, boo. I look good tonight, not you. It's about me. It's not about you. It's about me. <laughs> or the baby. Plain too, so it don't matter. Well, maybe they thought in Paris floral print was still in. Floral but print from the head to the toe? Or, oh, or no. little okay. Key West. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Well, enough well, about that. In Paris, the Let's floral print is rocking. Let's talk about these guests that's about to come in here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, we got some guests in the studio. Why don't you introduce them, Miss the the Governess? Go governess? Where, where's my cast for the thinner blood? Come on. Where are you? Girls, at the thinner blood. I got something right. if you got thin blood. Oh, look. <laughs> Come on in. A good red wine. Oh, look at that smile. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting to see our young sisters in doing here. Some yes. nice doing things. something positive. Look at her hair. The green like is that. rocking. I love that. That's Just unique. Very yes. unique. Yes. Why don't you guys start with introducing yourselves? Go ahead, lady. Hi. Turn, 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 turn her mic on. There we go. Okay, um, I'm Hala Yanez. Hi, Hala. Hi, Hala. Hi, Hi Hala. <laughs> uh, my name's Givy I. Joseph. I'm the producer for the short film. All right. And I also have the other actresses here as well. Awesome. Hi, I'm Miranda. I'm their mom. Oh, hi. Hi, hi Miranda. Hi, hi, Mama. Happy Bam. Mama's Day. Yes. yes. And who are you? I'm Naja Smith. Hi, Naja. Naja. How are you? <laughs> it's so good to have you guys here. So Thank why don't you. you tell us about the short film? Okay, well, um, here we have real-life sisters and mother, Hala, Naja, and Miranda, and we actually use them in the film um, as sisters and mothers. Um, and the film is about an alcoholic and abusive mother that mm. uh, basically doesn't really take care of their kids. And Hala is a, the older sister, which really tries to take, you know, take up for her younger sister and um, tries to support her. But, um, you know, she's not really getting much help from the mom, so she kind of takes matters into her own hands mm. just to kind of show um, Naja the support that she needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so where, did, where did you get the concept for the film for? Well, actually, the director, uh, John Reno, um, mm-hmm. he, it was a topic that, re- that hit close to home for him. His oh. girlfriend actually uh, had lived in an abusive alcoholic um, uh, home, mm-hmm. and so he kind of wanted to at least, um, you know, use... His, yes. his power as a filmmaker to kind of educate individuals and show how important and um, how detrimental mm. crucial it can be to a relationship and a family. Oh, so let awesome. me ask you a question. Starting from your, how, what is your actual role in the film? Uh, and then you can walk, uh, you know, go around. 
I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest daughter. Uh, I guess I'm the one who gets abused the least. Talking to the mic, sweetie. So you're the one who gets abused the least, and your character in the in a movie is. I mean, the name. Uh, Ava. Ava. Okay. In playing Ava, you also went a little mute because of the situation, right? You weren't talking. I I didn't have any roles except for like. Because I only talked when I felt that it was the right time to talk. Like, oh, when okay. it was really serious, I had to take matters into my own hands. Oh, oh she's nice. so smart. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Next. Very articulate. Yes. Miss Miranda. Yes. The name of your character and the role? I'm just the mean mom. I don't think I have a name. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, my name is Loretta. Okay. Yeah. And um, in my role, I, like you said, I was the alcoholic and abusive mom. Mm-hmm. And, um... I like to believe that I'm not an alcoholic or a <laughs> So right. it's kind of a hard role for me to play because I had to be very um, aggressive with my children. At some point, I had to say some really harsh things. And mm. they actually looked scared of me at some point. So wow. It kind of made me feel bad. Like, I couldn't even listen to the playback of the of it. I wow. couldn't listen to it. I was kind of angry at them because they kept playing it back. <laughs> I was like, well, That's some good acting. Wow. But wow. It, it, um, I, I really had to reassure them, like, you know, I still love you, right? After Aww. each take, it was, it was pretty, it was good, because it was a change from who wow. I am as mm-hmm. a You right. had to stop right. for, like, hug, hug breaks. I yeah. hugged them after every take. <laughs> after every take. She didn't look at any of the playbacks. She didn't, no. even at the theater, she wanted to, like, leave when we were first screening it uh. at the Montclair Film Festival, so. Awesome. It was, it was fun to see. It was a, I mean, I, I thought it was funny, mm-hmm. but she was, like, really emotional. I was like, these people are going to hate me. They're going to think I'm evil. No, oh, you're just a great actress. That's all yes. that was. Exactly, exactly. Um, and I am the uh, the producer, um, and I also play a detective in the film. Um, uh, and and the director came to me and just said that he had something in mind and he just wanted to for me to kind of put it together, put the pieces together. And I've had a chance to work with Hala on this is the third project, and I just think that she really has like she's gonna you know the whole family has it. They got the chops, so I was awesome. like, why not bring them in and you know. It, we have um, a film. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Let me get this caller yes. real fast. Yes. Caller from the 908, state your name and where you're calling from. Welcome to Yow Show. Uh, hi, this is John Reno, the director of Center Blade. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> we are, we're here with your amazing cast and producer. We're yes. so happy that you called, and we're just learning about the film right now, so... We're going to finish going around a round table, and then we'll get to you. Sounds good. Okay, so... Um, your character name? And your I'm part? Olive. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm 14, and I basically take up for my sister through everything. I'm pretty much like her mother figure because mom over here has <laughs> 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 her job. So yeah. <laughs> I have to, like basically get her ready for school and get her dinner actually at one point in time i have to steal money from my mom to oh. Oh, wow. get dinner and walk out in the cold and she gets mad about it and like it gets intense oh so. okay you <laughs> actually you actually had me i actually saw the film i'm pretty sure you mm-hmm. guys watched it too when you were walking alone you were like in such deep thought like oh my gosh what's going to happen like you can kind of see that you were scared on what was going to happen next right. even when you told your sisters to eat the food it was like all right hurry up because mom 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 is going to get us and then when your mom realized that you took the money i was like hit her i wanted you to hit her like <laughs> how dare you not feed your child how dare you i actually feed her. really feed them in real life <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh wow i'm really a chef so i really do feed them how did you feel my plate. You know I mean? you know? how did you feel when you found out you had the part well when i was excited because like i like to do acting it's not like a lot of people will be like, oh, I want to become an actress or I want to do something in the industry because they pay good money and because fame and whatever. I do it because I like it. So when I find out that I get a role, I'm, like, excited. I'm, like, good. I'm doing something I like, you know. Good. That's Very excellent. Makes sense. Now, we should talk to the um, producer. To the, the director. To the director, yes. We, we heard that this was close to you. Can you tell us why it was so close to you and why it was important to do this film? John. Yeah, what makes this so important to me is um, my girlfriend, who is also the co-writer and co-producer, um, her mother 
is an alcoholic and it affects the family in a lot of different ways. And I wanted to make a, a piece that could really raise awareness for the types of situations that um, that alcoholism can put a family in. Mm-hmm. And this is really the the worst case scenario. A lot of things in the film are fictionalized, but the the basis of the film is factual. And not only that, but it's something that happens to thousands of families every day. So it's really important uh, that for us that we raise awareness. And and, uh, on our Facebook page, we made a a list of resources where people can go and um, find different help for different things that they need, different organizations that will really help people. I'm sorry, what's the Facebook page? What was that Facebook page? Uh, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, just I didn't. give us the information so they can find you. The Facebook page is facebook.com slash thinner blood. Oh, okay. All Facebook, right. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, you guys were just in the you Montclair. Can, you, can give, you can give us all that information. Yeah. You guys were just in the Montclair Film Festival? We, yeah, we just had the, uh, the Montclair Film Festival was on Friday. Then we had the Trinity um, Film Festival in Connecticut on Saturday. Um, nice. We have another film festival um, coming up in june we have like a few of a few of them coming up so we're like really pushing this out there um really just want to raise awareness on what's going on out there because not not enough um people are taking advantage and really know of how they can get help for the, this type of situation okay awesome and i have a question right quick though um how did you guys prepare for this mentally i mean you you touched upon it a little bit mom as far as this not being your actual comfort zone obviously and you had to step outside of that and I want to talk to Olive, and I'm sorry, the other, Ava. Ava. How did how did you guys mentally prepare for this type of a role? Yes. Well, I prepared for it like, I don't know. I feed off of my, I fed off of my mother's energy, like um, how she prepared for it, and like she had to take it seriously and think like, if she was really in this scenario, and like I didn't, I didn't like. I had to try not to take it so personally, like, because that's my actual mom, like, saying this stuff to me or, mm-hmm. and, like, slapping me and stuff. So I, didn't <laughs> have, I had to try not to be like, oh, my God, my mom is like, I don't know. I had to calm down and realize that I'm Olive now and that I have to get into character. And yes. It just oh, she's so awesome. That. that is awesome. great. Awesome. So let me, let me ask you. Awesome. This, is, this is the most important question of the night. Okay. Um, <laughs> did you get a bigger allowance because she treated you bad? <laughs> <laughs> doing the film so in real life did your allowance go up like at least five ten dollars well the thing is that i don't get an allowance so oh, you don't i get to live exactly yo that's my kind of, that's my kind of mother and this is why she'll never be in jail or never be on a corner or a pole that's because good i tell her that the price of living I yes mean, come on her only job is to get a good grade that's that's it. It. and to clean her room and to try. I'm, to I'm giving you a high nerves. five from across that's the room because right. I have to Bam. Room myself. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to take it old school like that. You that's eat, it. you got a roof over your head, you got lights, you got clothes, you look good. I get you to school. You live in a nice environment. Exactly. That's your allowance right so there. And that's it. to a thirty-three thousand dollar a year school. <laughs> See, wow. Wow. they got your allowance. There is yeah. no allowance. <laughs> exactly. No allowance. Exactly. Make sure you do the dishes. There was no allowance for you to miss a day of school either. Okay. <laughs> At that so price. So let me ask a quick question. Can, for the children that, and you know, for families that's actually going through this, what would actually be like your message, or what would you say to them to help them get through this, starting with the children? Come on, Ava. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Like, I would say just to hold on and just to find some, like, an adult or someone that, that you know, like, can help you with this problem. Aww. Uh, you just, you just have to hold on and just keep on pushing yourself and moving forward. You, like, technically, you have to find your, find your way, find your way on the right path hmm. to where, to where you know you need to go somewhere and you need to try to make yourself get on that yes so. i like and that. how old are you that's very good yeah oh my gosh nice. that's nice. good advice for, for children all the kids going listening through that. out there you need to take heed to what this 11 year old exactly. just said because she is very brilliant and smart and she has um some common sense and okay. what, what would be your best best one? One? very articulate yes and, and what would be your message one? to um children going through this type of abuse well i would say like 
that there's a lot of resources out there. So there's a lot of opportunity for you to be able to get out of that situation if you really want to get out of that situation. And then also, I know it could be hard to talk to whoever's abuse, abusing you, but you have to let them know, like, this is not cool and I do not appreciate this. Yeah. And you have to be like, you know, just stand your ground and then also find someone who can help you and the resources if there's no one local. So. Okay. All right. I have a question. Wait, can awesome. the mom just answer real fast? Yeah, no um, problem. Go ahead. Can you just tell me what would be your message? Well, in a situation where I'm the alcoholic person, I think that if you're dealing with uh, alcoholism or something like that, you're very unhappy and you're taking it out on other people, um, maybe you should seek somebody other than yourself to talk to. Maybe you should seek godly counsel. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a minister first. So Amen. I look at the fact that, you know, in order for you to be a in order for you to take care of anybody, you have to first take care of yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. People who typically have problems like that are very unhappy people. Mm -hmm. So they have to find out what the cause of their problem is because my character can't be a good mother yes. to anybody because she can't. She doesn't love herself. She can't yes. show love yeah. to anybody else. So first, try to find out how you can love yourself. And then after you find that out, then you work on trying to love the, the people around you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now my question is to the young ladies. What did you learn from this movie? Well, I know that I learned that it's not always obvious, like, who's going through what. And mm. also that um, it's really stressful, like, at home. Like, I, my mom is cool. She's chill. Like, I can talk to her about a lot of stuff. And to not have that mother and not have a father as well, it's got to be, like, terrible. Because then who do you confide in? Like, yes. you can't have friends. They might call you weird. You know, you you have your sister but she's a mute and then you have to be strong for her you can't like you have to rely on yourself and that's kind of hard like living in a world like where you're all alone mm. i understand yes. mm. that one and to you young lady i learned that when you're hurting or you're going through something you have to tell someone you can't be scared to say anything yes. because if you're really going through something you need you need somebody like you know that you that could have your back mm -hmm. and you know that wouldn't let you down and will always be there for you yeah okay. oh my i and love these girls they're yeah. so smart yeah. oh my god and to the director that's yes. on the phone has has this film helped your girlfriend out in any type of way since it's now on the big screen i feel like it has i feel like it's given a little bit more perspective and i feel like she's really really excited to have this opportunity to help other people in similar situations. I feel like we're just at the beginning of this journey where we can actually start to help people. Now yes. that the film has been made and, and the, the filmmaking of it has been done, now the real work begins with trying to get it out there Absolutely. and trying to get people to notice and get people to really learn about the problems. Awesome. And I think that she's most excited about what's to come and who we can help in the future. Right. Now where can we see this film? The film will be screening in Philly uh, in June at the Urban Suburban Film Festival. And other than that, just all I can say is to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thinnerblood and just try and keep up to date with, with everything. We post everything yes. up there. So as soon as new screenings are announced, then it will be up there. And uh, we also hope in the future to have it available for digital download. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. But you know what I think the problem is with this is that people are in denial. And I think that they have to accept that first that they have a problem. And I guess that's what the film is definitely bringing awareness to a lot of the viewers that they have a problem. And once you realize you have that problem, to go out there and seek help. And, you know, people think if, you know, hey, I'm, they don't equate alcoholism with drugs. Some people... You know, that's like the the lower level of the scale. But, you know, that is truly a problem. And that definitely needs awareness. And I'm glad you're doing this film. This film actually this film actually entices with our topic tonight. And what we're talking about tonight is verbal abuse. Yes. And it sounds mm -hmm. like there was a lot of verbal abuse. I didn't yeah. really hear you mention too much of the physical. Mm -hmm. But I did mention, I did hear you mention the verbal and how it hurt you and mm -hmm. things like that. So, I'm just like, wow, I couldn't even imagine what these young ladies could even possibly have to go through and as a parent have to play that role and say those things to your children and, yes, and remain yes. strong well for me it was for me it was hard like even now you know as parents we yell at our children sometimes and sometimes we get like really like didn't i tell you to sit your yeah you know, <laughs> and sometimes you want to say some things you probably shouldn't say 
when I yell at my children or if I'm having a bad day and I might take it out on them, I apologize to them and I let them know that it is not beneath me to yeah. apologize to you if I'm wrong. See, back in the day, our parents used to just black out yes. on and say what they wanted to say, and that's what it was. And if mm-hmm. you got a spanking for something you didn't do, and they say, that's for something you wow. did that I didn't know about. You yeah. Know, you're oh, like, wow. What is this? Wow. <laughs> what kind of world are we living in right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, you people are crazy. Get but my own switch. Exactly. What? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Then you get a beat, and then you over in the corner talking about, God, I wish you would kill her. Like, so yeah. Like, right. <laughs> I know I wasn't the only one who did that. <laughs> yeah, so. No, you weren't. No, but you know, in this film, I had to, I had to really dig deep into like a hard place, and I had to like stuff I hear people say in the store, right? In the stores like t- calling their little kids b words. Yeah, yeah, you know, yes. Or a whore, or a slut, or yeah, this. Yeah. Them, I mean, you know, I had to really dig into that, and that really hurt me to have mm-hmm. to say that because I've seen people do it. I, I didn't portray a character that doesn't really exist. Like, yeah. These are really people that talk to their children like that. And they think that that's love. And right. I just can't see how. That's love. That's love. It's really not. You know, if I you're just now tuning in, you're tuning in to BKS1Radio.com. You're listening to the Ladies of Al. And we have the cast of Thinner Blood in the studio with us right now. If you're in the chat, please feel free to give us a call. The number is 646 233 Again, the number is 646 Miss Hayes, you said you have a question? Yes. Um, actually, after doing your role and actually what you just said as far as being out and you may have hear or heard some people say this do you feel like maybe you can you want to step in and kind of tell them you know what i don't think you should speak to your child like that i have done that wow and I, I invited a lady outside one time. and that's you know what that's amazing <laughs> seriously that's amazing because people today don't really want to do that um we have a question in the chat room actually for the producer he asks, is the, is the abuse in the movie on the same level as Precious, or did you guys take it down a notch? Um, <laughs> I, I feel like we definitely did take it down a notch, mm-hmm. um, because uh, with Precious, it was so graphic. Mm-hmm. But with, with John, uh, the director's style, um, a lot of things are implied. It doesn't necessarily have to be yes. seen. You know, it's kind of like um, uh, certain things will be out there, but it's not like it focuses in on it. So mm-hmm. we didn't want to get that you know yeah, nitty gritty and intense yeah. with, with but but we definitely got to that point where you can feel some type of emotion and you connect to and you connect to it emotionally so oh okay mm-hmm. in one of the most intense scenes um it, it actually plays twice you hear Miranda's character yelling at um at Hale's character Olive and in the beginning you see um Olive's face as you hear Miranda um from behind the the screen and then you see a bottle smashing against the wall. Oh. Then later in the film, as time progresses, you see the entire scene from her sister's perspective in another room. Mm. You never actually see her yelling, whereas something like Precious, it's very graphic and it's laid out in front of you, whereas I tried to keep it more from the view of the kids. I wanted it to be seen from the view of the victim rather like than an it. overall kind oh. of omniscient view. Oh, I like that. Um, there was a part in the film when someone had to hurt mommy. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, wow. <laughs> I know with this Amazing. Miranda actually being your mom, dun, 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 dun. did that like really make you say, well, I, maybe I don't want to do this part. How did you feel acting? As hurting your mother and your mother well, just disappeared. I want to know, what did you do to really, what kind of hurt did you do? Oh, was it like... some hurt. Literally physical hurt? <laughs> well, I don't want to give too much away. Wow. Yeah, that's yes. right. We'll but come let come me see just it. say that there was some blood. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Interesting. But yes. like, well, but she's smart. As no far more. as I felt, I was in character, so I was ready to stab her. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, I was like, I was, I was like, ready to stab her. <laughs> as far as character, right? All these times when yes. I wanted allowance, mom, and you couldn't give it to me, all that stuff. Yes. Okay, I got you. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> that just brought you closer to your mom. Well, thank you. Once right. again, can you tell the viewers how you can? They can huh? find you or oh, yes. your film. Um, you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Thinner Blood. You, on Instagram, Thinner Blood. Also, uh, Twitter, Thinner Blood. And, you know, we're, we're going to have a lot more film festivals that are coming up, more premieres, even like Cape May, New Jersey, a few different places. So just like the page, stay up to date. Um, and we appreciate all the support. Like John said, we will uh, try to make the, the film 
digitally digitally downloadable. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the word, right? You got yeah. it. Uh, so uh, <laughs> so that you can see it, and it won't be like too expensive, five ten bucks, just just so that you can at least get it. And you know, we appreciate all the support at the end of the day. Oh, thank you, guys. Well, thank Absolutely. you for coming down, yes. ladies. We want to say thank you as well. Um, so we have a. Uh, oh, nice. Awesome. Oh, thank you. That is so nice. Yeah. Okay. That'll so work. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys for thank coming. You for coming down. Thank. We will thanks support the director for calling yes. us. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thank you for having us on. All right. No have, problem. Night. have a good night. And good luck with everything. Thank you. Good luck Thank with that Oscar. <laughs> All right. Tonight oh. we're talking about verbal abuse, ladies. Yes. Oh, yes. This, this is, is a this is so deep, Miss Lee. It's a very intense topic. Because yeah. a lot of times people a lot of times women and men, but mainly women in general, we don't realize when we're being abused, if we're in a relationship with a man and he's not hitting us, we feel kind of sort of, well, at least he ain't punching me in the face. And right. we, mm-hmm. we trying to kind of sort of compare it to that. But anytime somebody disrespects you okay, and calls you out of your name, you are being verbally but abused. But besides that, let me ask you something. What are some of the unobvious signs of verbal abuse? Uh, some yes. of the signs are like somebody talking to you, demeanoring you, like... Just talking, belittling you. Just, yeah, talking down to you all the time, you know. Not not even if they're not yelling at you, just talking down to you and making you feel worthless. Absolutely. Just simple stuff. Like, Absolutely. you ask someone a question, and you may not honestly know, and they're like, so what are you, stupid? Yeah, yeah. Or simple things as, all right, well, I don't know. Um, I like this. I may not like what I liked before, but I, I'm changing now. And it's like, well, what happened to you? Like little yeah. little things that make yeah. you feel uneasy about yourself. Mm-hmm. You if I come what? in here with a bald head and all y'all are like, "What the hell is that?" Mm-hmm. It's just like, okay, you know what I found? Great. Even hanging up on right. somebody hangs up on you—that's disrespectful. I don't believe in that. You hang up on me, I'm coming to your house. Yes. Well, I can speak from a personal experience because oh. I was in, actually in a verbal abusive relationship, seriously, and um, I can be honest and say it doesn't feel good. It does not feel good. Um, some of the signs that like you were just speaking about some of the signs usually are not just the the negative tones or some of the signs are not just the negative tones or the negative connotations but it it also um would be the attitude that the person gives you when you're trying to be positive and you're trying to show them love or an affection or attention and that person is just automatically snapping all the time Mm. and you're like where is this coming from what's going on usually you know I'm speaking from experience. I found that usually that either comes from low self-esteem within their self. Yes. Um, it also can stem from either they're probably dealing with someone else or mm-hmm. it can stem from just all different types of levels of stress. But can I ask you a question? Absolutely, Trey. Since he wasn't physically abusing you, did you think that it wasn't abuse initially? You know what? To be honest, um, once you hear the, the, the B words and the, 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 the F words and this, that, and the third being said to you, um, I think you would have to have, um, goes back to your upbringing, to kind of know that mm-hmm. you are being verbally abused. Um, I was My upbringing was a little bit different. I lived in a household where no man would ever put their hands on you should they talk to you a certain way, and if they did, you need to get out of there. Yes. So... You know, I will say this, though, even with that knowledge, because you love somebody so Mm. much, you will still stay in that place. Yes. And what you have to do um, is basically you got to you got to learn yourself, learn yourself, know yourself and value yourself, value yourself. Absolutely. And also get involved in things you like to do that keep you busy and keep your mind off of that. And then the bottom line, leave it alone. Just let it go. I mean, it's easier said than done. But if you start to, to practice those things and you actually do learn yourself, then you can move forward. Yeah, but, but also, too, I think what people need to also understand is that just because somebody doesn't say you a hoe or you a slut or you a bee, it doesn't mean that the person is not abusing you. Like I said, some something so simple as somebody hanging up on you. Something is so simple as you talking to someone cutting you off. It's, it's little things like that. And it's like people look over that and it's just like, oh, OK, yeah, he hung up on me every time. But he didn't ha- he didn't hit me like I look at these girls on Maury and it's just crazy and how these the way that these men talk, talk to, to them. them. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it's just like, don't look up. If you look up, I'm going to punch you in your face. And maybe he never hit her. But it's just like you trying to punk somebody. 
And that's not cool. Now, whether or not you you want to secret squirrel it and dance around it or you want to be blatant like the guys on Maury. Mm-hmm. So it's just like you definitely have to know your value and your, and your worth. And I feel like I've been verbally abused. The person won't admit it, but I always sit here and say to you, wait a minute, person. I had another word, but I had to keep that. Mother, <laughs> mother sucker. <laughs> um, do you not know that you hung up on me? So if I do this to you and every time you opened your mouth, how would you feel? Yes. How so. do you feel as though that I'm trying to speak? And you are trying to overpower me because you are a man. Mm. So it's like as a woman, we need to be strong. And like Trey always say, learn how to talk to a man. I get it. But in the same token, too, a man needs to learn how to talk to a woman. Of course. Of course. You ain't going to be hanging up on me. What's so funny about. Oh, and being ignored. Don't ignore the hell out of me. I'm coming to your house. What's so (laughs) funny about verbal abuse? Because it's unpredictable. It's an outburst. It's a way of controlling. Absolutely. And it's sometimes the victim feels like they are always making excuses. Yes. And the the attacker is always blaming where the victim always feeling like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have said this. Or yes, maybe yes. I shouldn't have done yes, that. Yes, you're right mm-hmm. about you that. You know, and so you start and, and, and slowly they start to take away your walls and chip away your self-esteem. Absolutely. And you start to feel like, you know what? you know maybe i should just change you know he had a bad day and you know stuff Mm -hmm. like that ain't no excuse Mm -mm. and it's and it's definitely a a silent abuse because you you want probably want the relationship to work and stuff like that and then some people are in these relationships because of financial dependency Mm -hmm. and they don't realize that their dependency is what's you know yeah you have to be there and so the other person feel like oh i could talk to you and treat you any old kind of way but verbal abuse is just as worse as physical oh, abuse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. things, things oh, definitely yeah. escalate yeah you oh, know that's so right, you, governess. you have to let it you know you have to first awareness mm-hmm. right. second seek help and then you know cut it you know break the cycle let it go it's but even with people that i have a that i have an issue with like my favorite line is you know don't judge me Mm-hmm. But it's deeper than me just playing around. Like, oh, you know, don't judge me. Right. If I come to you and I said, you know what? Damn, he, 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 beat, he beat the brakes off of me. Mm-hmm. And now you're going to sit there and be like, oh, well, she in an abusive relationship. Da, 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 da. Okay, we talk or whatever. Now, the next time I come to you and it's like instead of you being the friend that Tina had, I'm Ray King Kong. We now start judging. Well, girl, don't you know that he be her and she's still with him? Oh, don't you know that this, that, and the third? Instead of sitting there and being that shoulder to lean on. Right. So, wait, let me ask you a question then, Missy. So, are you then saying that the person who you go and confide in should be that shoulder to lean on? Or should they give you the truth and tell you, you know, you need to get out of there? Or should they be that type of a person that say, oh, you know what, it's okay, you know, Maybe it's you or it's no. okay. Maybe you should should just, you know, maybe you two should work it out. No, like, no, no. I'm not justifying that at all. Okay. The person should not judge. Right. Don't don't sit here and now whatever I say to you, now you go to governess and just say whatever, whatever, instead of actually being my friend and wanting to help. There was a Lifetime okay, movie see. that I saw where this girl, I gotta, I'm got I'm going to think of the movie, but the girl was in an abusive relationship or whatever. And actually, wasn't a lifetime. It was Law and Order. Shout out to SVU, man. That's my show. Anyway, <laughs> the girl was being abused, and um, the mother wound up having to leave, and she wound up leaving the son. The son name was Tommy, and how she wound up doing it was she had help, and it was called a, it was a secret society, kind of like the Underground Railroad yeah, yeah. with these women. And they was going house to house. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I and that. the point is that, that they didn't judge this woman; they helped her. Yes. Right. right. So yeah, maybe they did say to you know what, eventually it's going to be okay, and you do need to get out. But now let me help you instead of sitting here closing the door right. and just judging. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, but I you was know, on, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was on both sides of that. Meaning, um, with me being younger and started a relationship when I was young, where I didn't have that guidance to choose who was right and who was wrong, because I obviously picked the Mister Wrong. Um, I was in a verbal abusive relationship to the point that i almost committed suicide oh no wow. mm-hmm. um I've it took me to thoughts. that limit like i was in high school i was going through everything i didn't i wasn't going to my prom because he told me i was ugly he told me i couldn't do the modeling thing because of this and he also was older i'm not you know judging the older crowd but that experience i had with someone that was older really made me believe that what he was saying was true, true. Yeah. because i was younger mm-hmm. and i yep. did have the friends that said girl you you better keep that man he take care of you and he take care of this and taking care uh-uh. of that and then i had the friends that said chrissy leave right. yep. stay yeah. with me you're gonna be yeah. fine right. yep. and it put me through a state that i just felt alone i was i was by myself 
until I found the help. And I thank God for who I went to to find the help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I got through what I had to get through. Sometimes it, I go through situations and I compare it to my relationship now or he sometimes try to say, okay, well, I'm not going to say that because I know what she's been through. And sometimes I feel as though I put the pressure on the next person yeah, because yeah. of my past. Mm-hmm. Which but you should. Yeah, you just got but your feelings open. Yeah, and it's... um. There's a call. Yeah, up. hold on one second. We got a caller from the 973. State your name and where you're calling from. Welcome to the Al Show. This is Arturo, your best friend on the mic. What's up, lady? Arturo. Hi, how, how you doing? Arturo. <laughs> how you I'm doing? Good. How y'all doing? I'm hey, doing hey. good. Hey. <laughs> Really? Because you look a little yellow. Yeah, <laughs> we're, a little, we're a little under the weather right now. <laughs> no, we, we're still enjoying uh, this lovely, lovely weather. I know. The sun is showing. And <laughs> yes. Most well, definitely. What you got to say no. for us tonight about this amazing topic on verbal abuse? Well, actually, that reminds me of uh, a situation when I was in school. And, you know, a lot of... Uh, this clerk that I was I was in, we had we did a lot of talent shows and there was this one girl that she was special. She had she did a, you know, she wrote a lot of poetry and she was extremely talented, very intelligent, but unfortunately her boyfriend held her back. Oh wow. You know, and I yeah, and I actually can't you know, I came across I overheard an a little argument at the end of a of an argument between those two back in the day, mm-hmm. and yeah, it was not pretty. Wow! He so walked off. I literally, like I said, I literally came at the very end of it, and I said, you know, I was trying to console her, or whatever. And you know, she said, she told me, in all due respect, you know, I don't really feel like talking, and I know you think that I'm the greatest thing, but if my but if my boyfriend doesn't think so, then what's the use? And so I love that man. So, um, to wrap it everything up, what would you? S- what would you say to people? I'm not just going to say women, women and men that's um, going through something like this, verbally abused. Verbal, verbal abuse. What the abuser is obviously insecurity. It all boils down to insecurity. You know, it's easy to knock somebody down to make you feel special. Yes. Mm-hmm. You could feel like straight toilet, like toilet trash. Mm-hmm. In all due respect, and the best way to not to to build yourself up. Mm-hmm. You abuse somebody. Okay. Verbal abuse. Oh yeah, you can name call, say this and that to make yourself, you know, gain a big ego. But at yes. the end of the day, gotcha. when you leave that situation, you saying, "Damn, I'm a mother. Damn, I'm a gotcha. big this and that." You know what I mean? Yeah. Arturo. Yeah. Just the favorite part. Give us that famous, uh, you know, owl thing that you do the best. Y'all first. You know, it's ladies first. If you're just now tuning in, you're tuning in to BKS1Radio.com and you're listening to the ladies of Al. My name is Miss Lee. Chris Christie, the governess. Drama Free C. Trey K. And Miss Hayes. And only women. Wear high heels. Al. And this is your best friend on the mic. Always got to show you right. Big shout out to Miss Trey K. Miss Drama Free. I see you. Miss Sexual Chocolate Drop. Miss Lee. Miss Trey K. The governess. And PYT at the end. Listen. This is Arturo, and I'm signing out. And <laughs> show, show right. Right. Now, one thing I want to say, good night, Arturo. Good night, Arturo. I just want to say something that Miss Hayes said that was very important to people who are being verbally abused. When you start noticing that person is isolating you, that something is wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, because you said he started making me be by myself and didn't want me. So that's very important that when you start being isolated, there's a problem going on when he doesn't want you with your friends and your family. I agree Absolutely. with that. I Absolutely. definitely was in a situation like that because I would go everywhere with him. Yeah. And then have a problem with it because mm-hmm. I don't care. I'm like, if you if you in a relationship with somebody and that's supposed to be your dude, you're going to do whatever it is. As long as I ain't got to go to jail. Well, you know maybe what? a little bit. <laughs> maybe a little, a little bit of you want to lie to guys. I keep hearing that. She that is my wrong. damn problem. Drama and is uh, actually the, the verbal abuser. I mean, no, I'm actually, actually I'm on, on the low. But on just low. not really though. But just one thing, you know, I want to go back to what you were saying. When I I don't understand when people say, "Why don't you just leave?" I don't think it's that easy. No, is it's, it? It's, no, it's, it's, it's she really said not. it wasn't that easy. It wasn't easy at all. You want to speak on that, governess? It wasn't easy. Like, I kept saying, no, I love him. For what? No, I have his children. No, I will not leave. No. Wow. So it was and more so an emotional, this is mental not thought, Vinny. though. This is right. prior. It was, a, it was more mental yeah. that you didn't want to. It was mentally in my head that I 
it wasn't meant for me to leave. It was, this is why I'm going through. He, what he's saying is true. Everything is right. I have to stick here. I have to, I want to be his wife one day. I really thought I was the one. And it really was because he saw that I was growing. And more and more people started to see my talents and everything. And I started doing more fashion shows or whatever it was. And as he saw that, the instead of growing with me, mm-hmm. it started growing apart. Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes too, you know, men will be intimidated by that strong mm, woman right. that he's next to. So sometimes that may that may play a factor too and while that verbal abusing starts because not just because they they want to hold you back, but they are intimidated. They they fear that wow, this thing this this woman that I have here one day she may leave me. So they try to do and find other factors on how, you know, maybe I could play on her mental and keep her there because they don't want you to leave. Right. And it turns into something more dramatic than just a baby, I love you, please don't leave because they are afraid to admit that. It becomes you better not leave today. If you leave today, it's gonna be this. I'm gonna kill you. Or me exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, That's how so many done. people on well, Keep in mind. Keep in mind that verbal abuse does not always have to do with a significant other. Mm-hmm. This is true. So yeah. it can come from a parent. Yeah. You know, come from a friend. It could come from anywhere. So you know you have to really realize you know the signs and you know some of the characteristics of it because. It's just, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's just like more so the disrespect factor, like. Okay, the B word. I just think that that's so tacky. Oh, that's my B. What up, B? Oh, you all in the street? You just ghetto. Just <laughs> ghetto. Like, you all the way down the street? That's my... Sit the hell down. Gotcha. I was so mad at the girl at Taco Bell the other day. I was like, are you serious? I wanted to Taco pluck her. Butter. But you know what? Another thing, a lot of people don't know that somebody, that they're being verbally abused if they saw that at home. Right. If their parents yeah. talk they to each other way. a certain way. Mm-hmm. And it was cursing in the house and yelling and screaming. You really don't realize it because you saw that your whole life. So it's like, so what? That's how we talk to each other. What's going right. on in the chat? Yeah. Oh, in the chat, Big Pep is there. He's he going said, in. Oh, he said verbal abuse is another form of control. Mm. Hello. They'll talk you down. They'll talk down to you, belittle you, and make you feel less than mm-hmm. your words. So you could be dependent on them. But mm-hmm. they really. The, but the reality of it is, most Both of them H. ain't. They couldn't yeah. make it without <laughs> you. Absolutely, bingo. That one. So we yeah. have some. Guests. Yeah, we have some guests in the What's studio. Who well, we just walked in right now? All the men's is. Um, oh, the wake men's up. Yeah, so wake up. Sad. Y'all are sleepy. Oh, wake up. Me, we have uh, KG doing? in the building. You Clap know? it up. Everybody, yes. if you don't know yes. who KG is, then you should you should know. And you should Go- Google, Google it, damn it. You should Google him because he's going to pop up. He's from Naughty by Nature. You know, he's one of the hottest producers in the game. Coffee Brown, Jaheem. I could go on and on. Well, he's actually. Jane, right? Hey, yes, oh. yes, don't, don't play. Don't play. Uh oh. He also got up. next, <laughs> too. Don't forget next. that. Yes. Let's let's hey. talk about why he's here tonight. Yes. KG is here with his new group. Yes. We call Elite. Elite right is in the building. Right, right. right, guys. What's up, Welcome to the show. Hey, hey. We want you to move up a little mm-hmm. into the mic yeah, so we can you hear know, you. I know you like to sit little. Yeah, we know you oh, cool. You know, get a little you cool on the yeah. camera and all. You know, it's a part of me. You know, I'm boxy. Hey, Boxy. Hey, Boxy. Hey, Boxy. Chaz. I'm Chaz. With the braids, long, pretty hair, don't care. It's your boy, K.O. Hey. K.O., okay. K-O. And K-O. We know, and we know who KG is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but you going to say something, right? Yes, how y'all doing? Hey. <laughs> hey. doing good. We came up in here in the middle of y'all seeming like y'all were bashing some guys in here or something. No. Oh, no. 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 See, Not the topic is about yeah. verbal abuse tonight. No, no bashing, no bashing. No, we don't do men bashing. We, no, no, okay. we, we do that after That's the show. I've been, I've been <laughs> used to that. <laughs> Every show, yo. Oh, Norm. So, no, stop. So now I got help. Oh, no. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah, stop. Stop stirring the pot, Norm. Don't stir the pot, Norm. Why don't you, why don't you guys <laughs> tell us where you're from? Well, me, I'm from Southside, Queens. Southside Queens. Got it. I'm saying Southside Queens. I'm sorry. Now, oh, now we in there. Yeah, yeah. Southside Queens. Southside Jamaica Queens to be a raspy. We had a release party. Oh, you know, I'm the turn up. I'm don't. Turn up. Turn it up. Turn it up. You got. You got that voice. Yeah, I'm from BK. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. You sound like a problem. Yeah, you sound like a wild card. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Twin Cities. Oh, oh man. Okay. Why you gotta be the wild card? Cause he light skin. Oh, that's oh, what it is. Oh, oh, trying to trying to oh, light skin. Nah, trying nah, to nah, 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 nah. I'm just yeah. not from where everybody else is from. Uh, I got a different upbringing. Uh, 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 how, how did you guys? <laughs> how did you guys get together? You know what? K K put us together. K put us together. K put up a super uh, super group together. He put the group next together. They from Minnesota. Mm-hmm. 
okay. you know what I'm saying he found us from different venues and he just put us together you feel me and now we like brothers nice all right all right nice, nice. Well, um, why don't you tell us about your single oh our single wave flexing cool right now yeah. It just released yesterday. You know what I'm saying? We had a Ow. big turnout, big turn up party for everybody <laughs> to come out and just celebrate with us. But Wave Flex is cool. Um, it's just, what's up? I didn't get the invite. Oh, you didn't get the invite? No, you had a party? That's what? on love. Actually, did. I, I didn't, That's love. That's no, no I didn't get the invite. Maybe everybody else got the invite. But I didn't get I the quoted, invite. I quoted, That's love, Logan. She didn't invite yeah. you. Well, I ain't getting Scream no invite. I ain't yeah, no I should have been there. Yeah, hold, on, hold on for one second. Love said ask Norm. So we're going to talk to Norm yes. after the show. Thank you, but Love. Norm yes. just said you did get it. But Norm tell us know. more about your album, Lion. You know what? We're going we gonna to talk. Yeah. We're going to do this interview. Meeting. Yeah. yeah, let's get back I'm to I'm calling a yeah. meeting. That's yeah, a yeah, no, you can't let them turn you against the brothers already. Security. Man. together, man. We walked in on the You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Norm. Let's talk about the album. Start now. Tell us about your style. All right, well, we um we basically do hip-hop, R&B, pop. We do everything basically across the board. We just dropped a mixtape, Wavy Flex and Cool. It's on live mixtapes, thatpiff.com. This is 50. We everywhere. Wavy Flex and Cool, that's the mixtape we just dropped. Nice. I think, I think I got one in my pocket. Can you got a mixtape? Yeah, you do. Oh. We got mixtapes. We got mixtapes. We got mixtapes for everyone. Mixtapes out to all the ladies. Mixtapes out to all the ladies. I got a mixtape. I got a mixtape. I got a mixtape. I got a mixtape. I gotta let y'all know though, it's not traditional. It's not traditionally what you would expect from me when I do my R and B, R and B. This is, you know, younger boy R and B. Oh, you know, this is what's not the difference? That, what's the difference not, in the style? Grown, Cause you, you, y'all are grown and sexy. I like that, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, y'all are grown and sexy, and that's not grown and sexy. He giving us, wait a minute, he giving us a warning. So, so, warning you, so let right. us know so the right. difference that's in the that's style. That's Explain. That's well, right. for people who's grown and sexy versus the population you're talking about, elaborate a little bit more. Talk to him, okay? Talk to him. Talk no, to him. You talk to him. Because I'm you, telling them you're not grown and sexy, so you tell them why they. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm definitely. They I'm, I'm grown and sexy. No, I'm grown and sexy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know we, we step out when we step out. I mean, we can keep it young, we can keep it cool. But, but why I mean, you not I'm grown not and sexy? Right. I mean, I'm, we always grown and sexy. It's on there. You see, the you? thing is, see, the thing is, what we're trying to say is that it's a different demographic. You know what I'm saying? We appeal uh -huh. to everybody. You know what I'm saying? The girls who want to twerk, the kids who want to jump around, party hardy. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got, whatever you want to do, we touch. Now, I'm gonna I'm 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 play devil's advocate over here. They don't want to twerk. Who? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Before we talk about the twerk team. Stop, 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 Okay, hold so on. I'm so, so what I'm saying is, wait a minute. Did so he just do the Ray Charles and feel like man. Yo, no, yo. <laughs> see the thing oh, man. is, see the no, thing is, is that no, no, no. See the oh, thing oh, is, man. Is that you got so, so, so back. No. What I'm saying is, I'm 26 years old. Not saying I still can't drop it. We can still drop it like a time to work it up. Of course, it's just of course. Like, it's like a different. Just how you going to do it? It's right. respect. I'm gonna still do it classy. I mean, I ain't saying I'm going. Wait, wait. Let me say. Let me say this, Miss Hayes. Let me say this, Miss Hayes. Let me say this, KG. I get you. They twerk down at that end of the oh. table. Oh. And they swallow I'm, I'm down at the end of the table. Oh, 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 I'm going to my, I'm going to listen. I'm going to give it to my son. And the thing is, you fell into my trap. I didn't want to just straight up come out and ask you, you know, your Did age. you twerk? No, I was going to tell you regardless because that's just how I am. I'm out front. Yeah, yeah. keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah. yeah. It's all real. Yeah. yeah. It's a sneaky way. They twerk. Why got to be a trap? They the twerkers. Twerkers on the right. I mean, I mean, nah, but, nah, 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 I don't know who y'all not. You're in the middle. Now. Nobody oh, said you. Right. Right. You're in the middle. I'm Control just, yourself. I want to make sure. You. Kind of I'm warning you too because we came in here and you said you don't like the the whole the calling girls bees and all that and. I tell them all the time, you can't be on your records nah, doing do that. that. Oh, no, 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 but I, I'm, can I ask you a question? Caught, I'm, I'm going to let you go ahead and <laughs> do that. You that. Put the CD in and it's popping she in. has a question. The What's question up? that I have, and actually it's really not even a question, it's a comment. Mm -hmm. I don't think that any other, any other ladies on this panel even noticed it, and I was waiting to see what, something. Like? Peep that. Now, peep yeah. this. When you said your style, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, now, God dang, Nebit. I just got finished listening to the TLC crazy, sexy, cool version of this. Absolutely. Yeah, that's now, when you look at cool now, mama. You feel me? Now, peep this now. I don't know, also, if you guys ever listened to that album from front, from top to bottom. 
I'm talking about mm. no skip, no nothing. They had so many different styles. Oh, yes, they that's did. And it was That's sexy. exactly what we bring to the oh, table. Oh, yes, they did. I just yeah. plugged y'all. What? Give me my 10%. Yeah, I've been give watching. Give me my 10%. Yeah, we got you. We got you. Yeah, we're on the same page. Wait, wait, wait. And when you give her her 10%, you got to give us our 20. <laughs> and she's a she got us covered. <laughs> What's the single y'all pushing from the mixtape? Way flexing cool. Way flexing the, the self made title, man. And I'm I'm gonna tell y'all something else. From her talking just now, you know she all calm and cool when I'm next to her. She a secret twerker. Oh, oh we got twerkers, we got twerkers on the left too. <laughs> <Same time>. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get in the next to I ain't no yo so I still will drive it like it's hot. I don't care. Yeah, we, some skates. We, we really What's your name see. again? Oh, you listen. Okay. Like, let's stay focused, yeah, guys. Like, uh, let's stay focused. Let's Ms. stay Hayes, focused. Baby. Ms. Hayes, baby. Miss Hayes, all day. Let's stay focused on it. On hey, look, a we trying to stay focused. Y'all got to help <laughs> us stay focused. Y'all can't be doing that. Yeah. Yeah. All, all right, let me ask you a question. You know, there's freedom of speech when it comes to, okay. to you know, most of the things you do. Do your music include profanity? And if so, part two, the question, do you think that'll affect your music and the listeners? Is it so far profanity can go in music? Nah, nah. I don't, I don't think that... E- that it's something that we just throw in to just be throwing in. When I write a when I'm, we write a, a song together, we kind of like throw our profanity just to get our point across. It's like when I feel like I, when I want to say the f word or something like that, it's just to emphasize my point to make you feel it because everybody don't go out, go home and not curse. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when when somebody feels a certain type of way, if they don't feel like cursing, they don't feel like cursing. When I feel like cursing in the song, I feel like cursing. Mm-hmm. Where yeah, I just I think we really need to just see what that wavy flex yeah, really, and cool I'm is all to, about. I'm yeah. You say you don't go back home and go fight with your man and, and be really respectful with him. You gonna tear his head off. Okay, well let's uh listen to what this uh what you what you bring in tonight, okay? Oh wow. Uh oh. Hey man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the way flash of cool men say you already know we in the building. You heard? <laughs> who who are we? I see you listening. I see you listening. Let's go. So, who, so, 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 I know, I know, I know we got the twerker, but which one's the dancer? Which one's the one that just go in? The one that don't just post up? You pointing up right there? My light skins? <laughs> the one looking at the sky. <laughs> the one looking All right, in the sky. All right, that was what's up. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Talking about me? 
I think that was right. hot. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Your mic on. Um, Miss Hayes was really feeling it, and she said she had some questions. Miss Hayes, you know how Let's to twerk. Go. Was you getting ready to twerk? Uh, no, I wasn't. See you, twerk. you know what? No, no. Can wait, you twerk? Wait, can I, you twerk? Mm, I used to. I mean, I still can. I still could do it. Let's see what you could do. I'm not, but see, I don't do that anymore. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Listen, not, not, this, nah, nah. Turn up. You're not gonna see me do it. I don't got my skates right now. That's not the kind of dancing I do now. Only on skates, baby. That's all I question. Only on skates. Who are some of the producers you guys work with? Well. Right here, we got KG. KG. <laughs> yeah, of course, KG. KG all over the project. We got um, we got Kosha, Kosha out there. That's another one of our main producers from the team. We got Miss International. We got Tramp Baby. We got Hello, a couple Tramp. Like shout out to Tramp. Oh, hey, shout Tramp. out to Tramp. You already know. Shout out to the DM family. Okay. Yeah, BK. You already know. We got BK on the uh, on the mixtape. Who else we got? We got um, Scarecrow. Check, check. We got a variety of different producers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of different um you know, newer producers, people, you know, same boat as us, everybody trying to get their wave across. And we got a lot of our own in house like international and coach and you know, the big homie K, you know what I'm saying? So Basically, you know what I'm saying? We we got we got some fire. I mean, that that's track one. Wait wait till you hear track two yeah, through to through the end. You know what I'm saying? Let me, me ask you guys a question. Let me ask you guys a question. So a lot of times I hear artists say, you know what, they don't really have too many inf or influence, you know. Sometimes it's just, you know, I'm my own influence. Okay. Who would you say right now that's in the game that's killing them in the game right now that you kinda would would like to do a record with or you you think it's no, dope? Somebody I would love to do a record with right now that's coming back is Brandy. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? Nice. I'm listening yeah. to her, you feel me? I'm a vocalist. Okay. So that's all Can I you hear with something? This. You want to you hit me? Yeah, yeah we want to hit you. your vocals. Can we get a little, <laughs> a little way? Vocalize, vocalize. Thoughts of you all in mind. It's the middle of the night. I'm in bed, yeah. Uh -oh. Wronging for you to be here. Would you rather argue instead? Oh. No. Oh, here we go. Some more gossip today. I suppose you believe them of me, but they don't know. Mm. All right. Yeah. Okay, maybe yeah. that one on the spot. Yeah. That's yeah. that. That's that Midwest right there that, that bring all the runs out. I ain't so, about that. So that's how you feel tonight? That's okay. how I feel tonight. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so what about... That's how he feels every night. So oh, every night. Every okay. night. Okay. So what about, what about from a hip-hop side that's that some, some cast that's in the game right now that you, that, you, that you actually respect respect or would do something with? Um... Of course, of course, a big homie Jay Z, he from Brooklyn, BK in the house. You already know. All do right. something with him. I, I, I'm banging Kendrick Lamar. Okay, I was just about to ask you, you how you feel me? about Kay Lamar. Yeah, I heard a little, Kendrick. I heard a little bit of that. Number four. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendrick whole album is hard. <laughs> I, I, I'm banging that uh, that Rocco. You ain't even know it. Okay. I mean, I, 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 you ain't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a lot of people we bang with Future. I like we like all turn up music, party music, good records. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we don't discriminate. That's what's up. That's good. What about on the pop level? I heard somebody say earlier pop, that they yeah, did it the with the pop. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I can't say that there's one big influence at this moment. Just, you know, just the best influence of what's hot, what's popping right now, what's making people move, what's making people dance. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, out, out of the group, the, big, the thing about it is just to go take it back a little bit. I'm going to go back to another question just to answer this question. Our styles, you know, from my perspective, kind of comes from the wavy, the flexing, the cool. It, it puts three different dynamics of, of what music really is together. You know what I'm saying? As far as from the vocalist side, from the hip-hop side, from the more alternative and pop side, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we put that together and we create a, a sound that just... You know, we need to appeal to what's now, what's what's popping, what's rocking. You know what I'm saying? If 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 the trap music is is popping, then we need to make some damn trap music. Okay. You know what I'm okay. If, if, if they're shaking, if they're twerking, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we we got that. The and business. then now back to the question, it's just that I've tried. Like Will I Am is is always going to be like one of my biggest influences, Absolutely. just on the production side. Like I I play keys. I do a lot of the writing is with with Court and with Chaz. You know what I'm saying? It's a team effort all the way and. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm just more on the, the creative side of things and just trying to, you know, I, I look up to those type of people. You know what I'm saying? Like tonight, I see Wyclef perform live tonight for the first time. We got a chance to see that. For me, my first time, that's an influence to me, too, just because his track record, what he's done, you know what I'm saying? Creative things like that. So, 
you know, it, it just goes without, you know, it goes without saying there is no, I don't have a specific, you know. You, that's you don't look, You don't look up to RL? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Of you course. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's family. family. I'm listening to you talk and I'm like, damn, this man was talking to me a couple years ago. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, RL. Look, hey, look, with Divine Mill, you it. never know. Go ahead, it, it, it. It, it reincarnations or whatever. Ain't it happens. I don't know. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course, RL. That's family. Early too. RL will be here tomorrow. Too. This yep, the, uh, tomorrow. Bingo. I'm psychic, yo. I'm right. trying to tell y'all. Y'all ain't ready for you me. You guys have some um, featured artists on your mixtape. Is anybody no. on there? No? no? Nobody? Speak to that one. Oh. We don't do that. The main thing is, is no. you know, when people do their first projects or do their albums, like, especially, you know, a lot of guys that's out already, but like, they tend to just grab on and jump on everybody that's hot. And I think that's what's happening. And that's what's it's part of the problem with what's yes. wrong with music today. Because it's, it's all disposable. You can't, you, it's all about singles. And then if you're trying to break an artist, how do you break an artist if you got a bunch of other artists on oh, your yes, stuff? Yes. And so it just looks like, like 10 different people. So it's Sweet. like, who are you really promoting? Who are you focusing on? Mm -hmm. So if you ever notice the history of, of everything that I've done, the, especially the first the first album definitely and probably the second album as well you know whether it be you know them with their mixtape it's just strictly them you know i did that with jaheem i did that with next i did that with mm -hmm. john a you know i even did that with naughty everything that i always uh, that i've always done you know i've always did it that way because you have to be able to break an artist first and yes. then you can reach out and do that because other than that, all you're doing is you, you're selling that other person that you're getting a on. A compilation, record, really. sweetie? Yeah, a compilation, which people can go and buy, or a soundtrack or something. Or you're just really trying to jump on the coattails of somebody else, and you're not really, really bringing nobody to them. You're selling, they're selling a record for themselves, really. They're not breaking you. Oh, how, did, how does it feel to have KG even want to work with you? I mean, coming up new, like, that had to be, like, I mean... It's like an icon. It's, it's amazing, period. Like, it's, it's just a blessing because the things, like, he just said, the things we all get, individually, we all have our own special reasons why we love working with this man. You know what I'm saying? He's a big, he's big brother, big uncle, m mentor, you know, ev everything. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's just, it's, it's a great thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Because so many people can get in this business with the wrong people. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. at the that. end of the day, you know, that's when you find yourself not doing business at all. Yes. And to have somebody that can teach us the business as well as help, uh, help us perfect our craft, mm -hmm. that's just a guaranteed gift to have in your corner. Because if the family is strong, then what the family produces is going to be great. That's yeah. just that, you know? With that's you guys okay. being artists, I'm sorry, Norm. Um, before you guys were a group, you were all independent artists. Yeah. yeah so yeah. did it take a lot of trust in each other at the beginning? Whoa. To become a group, well, or did we were we were brought together at a really young age? You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like we were like we were brought around each other. We weren't really technically a group, okay. but when you're young, you're really a sponge. You feel me? So okay. it's like when you start to gravitate towards people at a young age, it's kind of like you take them in as more of a brother instead yeah, of when you're good. grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? When you're grown, it's yeah. like you're you're kind of like you know what? I've done this for so long. I don't want to. I don't want to just gravitate to other people. But we were young, so we were like you know what? These kids is. Uh, kids just like me, we trying to get it. We just young and talented, and then you know, what I'm saying later on we grew to love each other and become brothers, and ultimately a group. Right? Because sometimes you see like the groups they come together, but then they all branch off and they break off and they do their own thing. You and I don't want to see y'all do that. You nah, talk, nah not at all. all. First of all, you you talking in front of the the right man right there, KG. Mm -hmm. See, here here's my thing. What what knowledge do you pass down? Because you know more about anybody about the different personalities when you in the group. And how how it is to, to stay together and, <laughs> and, and and be able to work together and everything. So, w what type of knowledge do you pass down to them to be like, look, this is how you guys going to avoid this and avoid that, based on your own experience, fam. I mean, to be honest with you, <laughs> it's a tough one, man. It really is, cause at the end of the day, man, ultimately you can't get away from outgrowing each other, man. And it, and at the same time, you're individuals. Mm-hmm. Your individuals, and it's tough, man. After a while, it's, it's tough. After a while, man. You know, you you got people. Everybody has their own entourage. You got people in this ear. You're gonna yes. people gonna be pulling him. He has his own crew. Like he said, he's all the way from Queens. He has his own crew in Queens. Mm -hmm. He's he's from Brooklyn, but he lives in Atlanta. He has a whole crew in Atlanta and Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. They're gonna mm -hmm. be pulling him. Right. He has his own crew in Minneapolis. They're gonna be pulling him. 
and you just got to be careful with that because everybody has a whole different, you know, motive Agenda. for why they're doing it. Yeah. You know, yes. because they're looking at their opportunity, saying, "If I could pull you over here," because I've been through that already. Mm-hmm. You know, where people mm-hmm. were pulling me. You know, looking at, okay, if I can pull him over here, then he could focus more on what I may be able to get out of it. Mm-hmm. You know, so at the end of the day. You got to try to avoid it, but it's inevitable. It's going to happen. I know it. Mm. I mean, I mean, honestly, I mean, and it's, I'm not trying to say it, you know, or to be, you know, negative about it, but it's just it's the you industry. Know, it, it's yeah, yeah. It it's is. the industry. It's that. It's, and, and that's why we have it happen. You know, yeah. Because it, it, it ain't really too much you could do about it. At the end of the day, you know, people get grown and you outgrow like yep. each other sometime at some point. Mm-hmm. Or you get tired of it, or you may get burnt out. You know, who never, who knows when it may come. It may come thirty years later. Yeah. You know, or whatever it may be. You know, or some people, you know, can probably withstand it a little bit. Or maybe, you know, you have a a few, and you, I'm sure you could count it on on your hand the ones that you know we've stood, you know, that whole breakup thing and yeah. not happened. A- or maybe broke up and probably came, came back. back. Mm-hmm. But Just I'm sure you you you'll be sitting here and it'll be hard pressed to find some that didn't do it. So what was right. ironic about elite is that it's three and naughty was three, <laughs> three. three. Right. Yeah. so so do you find yourself getting you you know like do you see like one person sort of leaning towards the other i know you get p- pulled in the middle yeah. probably of things and sometimes you feel like damn i really don't want to take a side because this one's my man and this one's my man but you get to that point where you got to step up and be like look you're wrong are you trying to say something? I'm not. I'm not really trying to say, <laughs> trying to say nothing. No, I'm not really trying to say say some. Do 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 you get to that point? Because with elite, you know, like I don't know the relationship with them, and I'm looking at the similarities with with naughty. You know what I'm saying? Like That's what I'm it's. Saying. Are you trying to say something? Not 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 really. <laughs> not really. Say 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 What's going on with naughty I, man? No 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 no. no, 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 no this ain't ladies, about that. Listen, I think we talking. I, I know one of the ladies. No, hold up. I know one of the ladies. Probably want to ask. I don't want to. I don't want to take away do. from from their shine. So I'm really trying to really keep it on the similarities with Elite. Real talk, because I'll ask right. the question. If this was my show, if you was on my Cipher show, I would hit you with it. Okay. Trust me. Okay. I so I'm it. trying to respect. Right. Yeah, yeah, respect our game. Yeah, and Word. just keep it with with with. with so elite. one of the ladies asked the question. I just did. What up with Naughty, y'all? He not finished. No, no, no. He not finished. He not finished. This was about Elite. This is about Elite. This was was about Elite. Is it? Because there may be a bond that's closer with with two of them. More so than, than all three. So is, oh. is is there that one? Do you see oh. that one kind of being caught in the middle? With I, I don't know because I don't I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we'll ask Elite. Elite, is there one? Is there, one, is there a leader out of the three? It's gonna have to. It's gonna. It, you definitely gonna be. It's gonna. Is there a peacemaker out of the three? There's no three. way. There's no way to get around it. If D, if these two have a problem. And he's the neutral one. He's out. I mean, it's just true. So who I plays the point. neutral? Who plays it? the neutral out out of the group? Is it is it the it red? Is, around. It's like a, it's is like it the a yellow one or is it or is it right here? It's like a hot potato. Why gotta be you know yellow? Why don't talk? That's, no, a, really that's a good is, thing because though. you know what? At the end of the day, I mean, I'm gonna say it. I mean, we don't. First of all, we don't have problems. We we, I, I we don't have that right now. And I don't know what the future brings, but we don't have that right now. They're you not women. Saying? We're <laughs> brothers. That's that. that Listen. That's another one, too. No We're disrespect to you truth. ladies up there. Okay, see. Can, can, back to can you, I drama free. Knowledge? We're going to go to drama free on her question first. Thank you. Oh, what? Man. Listen. Uh, KG, you, you, you focus now? What up with Naughty, y'all? What's up? What's going on? What's the problem? I'm here. This record's allegedly people breaking up, people upset. What's the problem, man? Dum, dum, I mean, you know, it's. Boom! Uh, it's the business. Man, can y'all like be quiet said. and listen? It's just been a long, long time, you know, with each other. And I had my time when I left the group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Sometimes you need a break. Yeah, you need a break. I got burnt out. I got tired of it. Did Vinny call you and be like, listen, I had to talk to you about something? No. No, I ain't. No, no, no. I had a time when I had, you know, I got burnt out. And I, I just was like, I'm, I'm done with it. And I left the group for like eight, nine years. Mm. And then, you know, I came back. Stop going and on then, my you know, now and is and now you know Vin and Tretch is just having a little they little friction. They just you know bumping heads a little bit mm-hmm. and you know like no I'm said I mean I'm just caught in the middle, you know. Gotcha. So now you know it's I'm being you know looked at as taking sides or whatever. Mm, of course. You know. You know, and I mean, and and and, it, and it's natural like that, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, you're gonna, you know, not not gravitate, but you know, if if 
if you got business with one or, or if you, you know, have conversations or even a few more conversations with one, then the other is going to feel like, oh, why are you over there? Mm-hmm. And or whatever. So I see. Can I ask this day, question? I'm, I'm the neutral one in it at the end of the day. But, you know, the, I'd rather let them speak on, you know, their, their like what yes. their real, real issues are. But, yeah, there's some there's some issues between men and Vin, between Vin and Trash. Yeah, okay. I, see, I seen Vinny and um, Dunkin' Donuts. We was talking about a jelly donut. Swear to God, <laughs> right by the hill. So you have to put together this. what I'm talking about. Did he about. like the jelly donut? Did he like your jelly donut? <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> my jelly. Donut. He tastes my jelly, <laughs> but he was tasting Dunkin' jelly, <laughs> and it worked out. Just, I was like, I, wait, Miss Hayes. Man. Yes, okay, yes, because Miss Hayes, because you had a question. <laughs> no, nah, really, more just uh, advice. I mean, me, I do. I, I'm into music. I'm into into entertainment. So I will say this. I can, I can say I can say and look back and say that back. Then with groups like Naughty by Nature, I think that at that time it was just a different era where I feel like now you guys, because you've seen their history, the key point to me is going to be saying learn the business now. Yeah, of course. Because yeah. I yeah. feel like I feel like myself and other artists who come up, we don't learn the business. We we just do it because we want to do it, want to have fun, and we don't learn the business. And then later on in life, that's where the problems come in. So right now, because you are at a point where you can actually learn from experience and from people who actually did it and, and still doing it or may do it or may not, I don't know, but we want to hear you do it. I mean, shit, you still great. Shit, yeah. no, nah, in my eyes, I mean, I was at the concert, like, was it, a month ago? Freeze what up I remember you Yeah all that good stuff So I was there But anyway <laughs> but you, but you um, but you know So what? learn the business You know that's yeah. all, That's the best advice I can say and, and, and take heed To what your mentors Are telling you and but learn the business because really that's gonna make all the difference and you guys exactly st- sticking together for, for for forty years plus. Great if advice. You know and, I, and and I, and I, the only reason why I say it's inevitable is because at the end of the day, even with business, you know, like what what may be fair business to me might not be fair mm-hmm. business to you. Mm-hmm. Right. right. At yeah. the end of the day. And that's what it's all ultimately going to come down to. At the end of the day, you're going to be like, yeah, we agreed to that. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. But now it's 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 15 years later. I don't feel like it's fair to me. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's all I'm trying to say. Right. That's, absolutely. And that's that's just, the issues that you have. But just don't let nobody get in your ear. And, and you that's know what? All. Right. It's a common thing what, what Kay is talking about, too, because at the end of the day, I, I was blessed enough to actually Kay and Vinny called in on the cypher show before yeah. and y'all dropped a lot of knowledge nice and smooth groups i've spoke spoken to all of them the same thing like they still do shows together you know because y'all are wanted still all over the world right. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a lot of these groups want it still over the world so Absolutely. at the end of the day too they gotta eat and everybody still want to get that paper yeah, right so you know what i'm gonna brush this aside real quick drop the amigos we're gonna get on the stage do what we do in peace, we ain't got we ain't got to really yeah. deal with each other. That's yeah, that's that, I mean, and, and in reality, that's how it's been, you know, with the guys for a long time, for a minute now. Because sometimes and it's I just mean, business. We've been still doing shows. They, they just been handling business, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, I said Trash, to you guys, Trash just got a little carried away the other day. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this <it> turn up <laughs> and exclusive? Like I said, just well, don't let nobody nah, get. Just, <laughs> just don't let nobody get. Nah, 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 yes. He just got a little carried away, but I let you know. I don't want to talk about his issues, but I just you know me personally, I just felt like he just got a little carried away the other day. That was it. Yeah, want to share about that song? That, yeah, with what? the song and, and oh. the Twitter stuff and all that. I thought he just got. What a did he say on Twitter? You got to go I back and look not at it. I'm just saying it. Twitter is, you know, everybody Maybe, knows. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying you got to go back and look at it. Maybe yeah. he was just angry. Sometimes yeah, you just he vent was, he and was. you just go I off. Asked him the ne- I mean, the next day, you know, I thought, I was just like, yo, why would you do that? And he was just like, man, I'm just tired of this. That was it. So he couldn't tweet you? You see what I'm saying? Why like, be a instead text? of, but what I'm saying is like more so, instead of you putting it on Facebook, oh, I'm mad. That, I can't stand people who do that. Oh, I'm mad. Can I just say that? 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 Is it a reality show oh, coming up I'm or something? Is this why this happening? And, and I didn't interrupt her this mm-hmm. time. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Just like, like, listen, like hold on, listen. Maybe, just, like, maybe. just like all things, it's like a marriage and, and a relationship. It's a lot of people in marriages and relationships, when they get mad, they call their girlfriend, they vent, yeah. and then you back together with that person. Okay, but see, if y'all would have let me... If y'all don't let me finish my point. like that. He does that. Like, he, he. It's, <laughs> a, re- my, my it's point, a reality show coming up on the works, I think. No, not my not. point was, if he kept it in the group, fine. What you just said, okay, if I have a problem with whoever I'm dating with, yeah, I call you, that's one thing. I didn't call everybody in this damn room. 
And this is what I'm saying. Instead of you dealing with your source and your see, circle, but, it's like I'm asking. I'm going to Facebook think, this. See, the thing is, though, like, 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 see what a lot of people don't realize and don't know about the issue and about the whole situation is that it's been in the circle and the group for for almost two years. Yeah. Mm. See, people think that it just happened out the blue, just like okay, he just woke no, up. No, I don't. It. It's been going on for a while. This whole thing has been going on for a while. T- talking to the mic a little more. Yeah, this whole thing has been going on for a while. So it's just not it's not overnight. Hmm. So it's just that I guess that one day he just got tired and he just was like, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I just feel like air at this out. point I want to air it out. And I want, you know, I'm not going to keep it in and hide it no more. I just want people to know and, and, it, and I want to cut it off. That's what that's what he said to me. That's why he said that's why he did it. Where can we find Elite? Let's talk about Elite now. Right. Where can we find Elite at? <laughs> right. And yeah, take a look yeah. at this. But let me time. just say one Hold more on. thing, too, about that, too. But we do have shows and we still will do shows like exactly. we've been doing shows. And that's okay. why I said it's been going on for a minute, but you mm-hmm. cannot tell. And, I'm, and trust me, mm-hmm. if we had a show tomorrow, it will be all three of us, and you will see Tretch and Vent interacting, and you will be sitting there like, like you're saying, like, that's a that's reality fake. show. That's, yeah. a, that's a reality. No, no, no. I said, that's, are you putting? Are you planning to put one together? No, but you will be like, you know what? That's a publicity stunt mm-hmm. because it would look like there's no problem. Mm-hmm. Pro- they still professionals at yeah. the end of the day. Business is business. Look at this album. Right yeah. Now. Separate the two. Bound. Where where can we find the lead? Bound. Go wow wow. Uh, datpiff.com, livemixtapes.com. This is fifty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Digiwax. Yeah, you can go on Digiwax website. Um, no, they can't download it from YouTube. Can we download it from YouTube? You can. No, we just want to know where to, we want to know where to find. Oh, just to view it. Oh, uh, yes, definitely our YouTube though. Our YouTube. We the letter R elite. YouTube.com forward slash we letter R elite. Google, we are elite, same way spelled. Uh, um, no, just the we are, for the Google, the we are elite with the Twitter, Instagram, we are elite with a three. Oh, so okay. it's we are elite and then the number three. And you know what I'm saying? Just Google it. Wavy Flex and Cool actually, I, I Googled it the other day. It actually pops up in the feed, like on the top of the page now for yeah, Google. So, else with wavy flex and cool. so <laughs> if you can't remember anything, just remember Wavy Flex and Cool. If you, can, you know what I'm saying, then go to Google, go wherever you can go, find any link that look like us and click on it. Do you guys have, <laughs> any, do you guys have any shows coming up? Yeah, we actually do. On the 18th. 18th, yes, we do. Oh, um, yeah. Well, that, it's a it's a private book show to, um for like a super sweet sixteen type of event. Oh, nice. Um, okay. So tell her happy birthday. Here. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Uh, well, oops. you know we was mm. we not for uh, <laughs> taking oh. care of it. We didn't. We yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Check that, KG. Check that. Yo, we we be doing the show on the eighteenth. K knew he didn't get the text. He had bad service. We you hear me? He text. got that norm service. He, he got it though. He must have. That was the week. That was the week he told us no incoming calls. Yeah. You don't have no credit, do you? If you're in the chat and you want to call in, the number is 646-233-1302. Again, the number is 646-233-1302. All right. And we're in the building with Elite and KG. Is there anything you want to tell your fans about yourselves that, you know, that's interesting? Um, yeah, real, real interesting. Different. Don't buy into the music. Buy into us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we three young guys trying to get it. We out here. We trying to do do things to just support the way support the movement and support real talent yes all right i want to know how many times you visited the mall no check this out <laughs> what you mean did you think i know about that mall it's the biggest mall in america yeah, yeah that they ain't we, about the mall. i basically live joint. at that joint all right, it's right, about to listen to another me. song i love that mall. it's called runaway love as all right here we go yeah as an aquarium turn it up turn it up on a roller coaster the mall is wavy though i live like right around the corner My joint kind of nice, don't tell me that. Love is on the run and I don't want to miss it Climb the highest mountain just to reach it Used to be a friend of mine, now you at home Down in the sticky shit, nigga used to get In the world, you really know me Never try to hold me back, never control me More than just a lover, a quick hit but my homie Swear, never thought that I'd do this to my homie
Okay, ayy. Okay, yo, let me take it from here real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop top with my homie and my Mercedes. Sweat thoughts about this woman named Mercedes. She got a baby named Karma, but it don't faze me. Daddy ain't around, so fuck it, guess that's my baby. Yeah. And I think I'm going crazy Doing everything in my power just to do it Love got a nigga so numb I wanna feel her Talking to my dick when she shake it, shake it, she kill her Man down, hands down Wonder if I touch it, would she do me, do me now, now, now To tell the truth is still my only Got a lot of ass, but a nigga still lonely Got a lot of hair, but a nigga still homie You could have a horse, the Porsche, I want the pony Ay, Baby, we could cut a love Take it slow, don't wanna run away your love, love Then she whisper like, I know you wanna fuck Then I whisper to her like, you knew I wanna fuck Yeah, then I'm like, ooh, you so promiscuous You make me feel like Kanye, this shit ridiculous Yeah, I'm like, ooh, you so promiscuous You got me feelin' like Kanye, this shit ridiculous Love was on the run and I tie my laces to catch up Love was almost lost, but I'm never, never forgetting her I would do everything in my power just to touch her You said I could do better, but baby, I'm a runner I know I done fucked up, but I'll climb the highest yeah. mountain just to reach it. I swear, baby. I swear I gave you the world. Oh, oh, oh. We done meant to all this shit already. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love is on the run, and I'm telling this is the catch up. Love was almost lost, and I'm never, never forgiven. I would do everything in my power just to feel. Wish that I could do better, but baby, I'm alive. All right, y'all. Y'all know what it is. It's Elite. It's Runaway Love. Be careful on Radio.com. You're listening to the Owl Show. Big shout out to KG and Elite in the building. Right now, call in. Call in 646-233-1302 if you want to holler at Elite or KG. Clap it up. Right. <laughs> elite What's in the up? building. What's up? What's up? We're back. Joint, that joint was hot. Elite in the building. Yes, if you want to call in, we are here. Or the number is 646-233-1302. Again, the number is 646-233-1302. <laughs> What's happening in the chat, ladies? I'm, um, I'm a little bit uh, discombobulated. We got it. Hey, you bugging. <laughs> This Kajraj, you ain't had to go all this. We got guest five eight zero seven. Um, they just saying, oh, they don't need to know guest five eight zero seven said, "Hey KG, what's Coffee Brown doing these days?" That's a good question. Oh, <laughs> freeze! You, 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 she was dope. You, have you seen Vanel? Uh, I seen Vanel about a month ago. She, she was doing like, um, like little open up, like little talent shows. Talent shows. Not, like not, not talent shows, but. Showcases. Showcases. That was one. Yeah, that was one of the projects that you know kind of like hurt me really because it was an idea I had. I wanted to do you know a guy and a girl. I felt like it was missing, but that's what I be doing, especially like with them or different projects that I do. I look at what the industry is missing mm -hmm. and I go and find it. And if it's not out there, then I put it together. So the same thing happened with Coffee Brown. And it's like the gift and the curse. It's like, you know, you when you sometime, I'm hoping that this don't happen with these guys. I, hope, I mean, so far yep. it's been good. You know, when you put something together, mm -hmm. that's not, don't come together and it's not naturally together. Sometimes, you know, you just Make trying to. What about yeah, Jeanne? You're trying to put, you know, do something crazy. And, and that's what I did with Coffee Brown. I put them together and they just didn't gel. And it kind of like didn't. You know, it kind of fell apart before it even got started. Yeah, and they had some good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Do all y'all have the album? Coffee all Brown, yeah. Do all y'all have the album? I don't yeah. know if they do. No, I don't have it right now. Ever, yeah. Yeah, it was, I, it was, I, I mean, I felt like it, like, we put a lot of time, it was great records on there. Yeah. It was great records on there, and it was a great project. And I just think that, you know, they just couldn't get, you know, together with it and they they couldn't they couldn't vibe out with each other and it it was honestly it was over before we even started yo that wow. the, the music was just fire though yeah. oh, wow. you know what I'm after the party oh, but, but two talented people it's just that they, they just bumped heads they just started. bumped heads yeah. oh a lot of production oh nice i didn't know that 
And Big Pep in the chat, shout out Big Pep in the chat room. He said, "Hey y'all, leave him, leave me a mixtape." <laughs> we got, we got him. him. We got him. <laughs> you already know. John Big Pep, a, right? John A is still around too. Right. Oh, are they? Yup, John A is around. I talk to them all the time, though. I are talk they gonna to get back too. together? I've been talking to them about that. I hope I hope I you hope, have because I, I've, I've been I've been fighting them for years. I, right what's now? the problem? I've seen a segment on them that they were doing two different projects. Yeah, Gene is doing like inspirational music now, kind of slash gospel. Mm-hmm. So I've been um, talking to her about doing some stuff. Is that the light skin one or the dark? Yeah, that's Jane. That's she got a. Bu- they slept on her album too. I play her album all yeah. the time mm-hmm. in my house when I'm cleaning. Mm-hmm. Yo, this is one track where she just goes in and is live. I'm. I be in there getting ready to cry. Like. Yeah. So <laughs> she's been working on that, and Renee's been, you know, been touring and um, working on her mm-hmm. own stuff as well. Yes. Yo, that's a dog that just walked past. Yeah. 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 yeah we Miss got a dog, but that's a rat. We got animals uh, in here tonight. Yeah. Surprise to us too. Oh uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But those girls, man. I, I mean, <laughs> I've been. I'm. I'm hoping. I, I got fingers crossed. I'm yes. hoping out of everything and all of that, all of my other projects. I really, really wish that those girls would come together and do some. Me stuff. too. Yes. Hey, Mr. DJ. You can get this started. I was listening to that in yeah. my car. Yeah, on the way here. You looking for him, hi? How do how do you stay so humble with just having so many hits out? I mean, I know it got to be like. I mean, that's just me. That's just me. That stuff, like, I don't. It, it's it just don't go to my head, really. That's you know, what you, they like say. You, say. you keep it business, but yeah. it just don't go to my head because I just look at it like, okay, that's done, and you know, it's never enough for me anyway. So I've always feel like. In some way, I guess like it ain't it it, it, it was nothing. Oh well, it was something. It was please, something. <laughs> a lot of people. Trust me, yeah. we all listening to it. it something it, it still, like especially industry, other people's property. It seemed like the industry never got the cake. You know, what I'm saying like Adam, and no disrespect to Devin and Tretch, talked to both of them, cool dudes, got love for them. But it seemed like the industry just never got to him to the point to where it's, you know, what I'm saying where where he got to feel like he he's on some extra, you know, some people kicking the diva mode. Yeah, keeping it real. He just always been grounded down to earth. Thanks, man. I got wow, you. I got you, bro. Mm. I'm looking out for you. I got your mixtape. You gonna do something yeah, live for us? From, I come from 18th Street, man. You know, yes. I come from nothing, so it's started from the bottom. Now we're here. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. What? What? Yeah. Are you so guys do, you spit know, my still, 16? Yeah, right? yeah. It's still work to be done as well, too. You know, and it, it starts at home too. My parents and all that. Yes. So. Can we um? Do you mind saying something live for us tonight? Singing something live? Oh, no you problem. Give it a something. Not, well, I mean, you <laughs> can join in if you want. I'm just saying. What, 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 what y'all want? Yeah, you can join in. Y'all want to do a record? Y'all want to kick freestyle? Y'all just want to rhyme? Because I can run I'm a just beat. Do something for okay, you. okay. All right. All right. We, we like wow. that. We take that. Mm-hmm. KG, right. you can join in. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm on break. You know, I don't do that. <laughs> hey. Yeah, okay, Mr. Mac Millie, I let her see them in Vicky's Millie, always blowing sticky and sipping him out the sippy cup. Ass like Nikki, but switch around like Beyonce. I kill a killer pussy, no shorty killed the fiance. Damn. Damn, bag him up, hit him up, wrap him up. I ain't mean to beat your girl, homie, but she bad as fuck. She got her ass up, I got them lights on. She got a nice back, I can lay the pipe on. Ooh. Yeah, she jumping on it, Ooh. I been up on it. Yeah. I'm feeling like I can eat my dinner on it. I hear moaning, mm-hmm. the neighbors knocking, yeah. I see the shadows, but they don't know what's popping. Yeah. She said, why you got the lights on? I tell her, baby girl, I miss the Addison. Yeah, you know that this your favorite song. You make a nigga want to do it with the light song gone. You're looking for me. Yeah. You're searching for me. Yeah. I only want to see you with the light song. So go get pretty. Go. Take off your doobie. Yeah. I only want to see you with the light song. Light song. Close off. I want to see you take it till you doze off. Light song. Close off, hey. baby girl. T- hey. Take it to your doze off. Now close out and blue weed. I figured Pick it, that we, we can click, click it. it, or we can clap on clap on, cause then now we get naked. Make okay, we can start with the top. That's to take them down your bottoms. bottoms. I see them red bottoms, but we can do it with that. Now, now the cameras out and blue weed. I figured that we can click it, or we can clap on clap on, cause then now we get naked. I think it's start with the top. As I'm taking down your bottoms, I see them red bottoms, but we can do it without them. Ah, wow. 
Wow. OMG. Y'all get ready to make me take wow. my headband off. The grown and sexy likes that. Oh, <laughs> I'm keeping that lights on. Up. Keep them lights on. Yes. Yeah, we got oh, some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like young kids, they always want the lights off. You feel me? It's oh. only grown and sexy that want them on. You feel me? That's so the beautiful grown and to turn them lights on. Hey, I mean, Let me hey, tell look, you I don't think we can talk about all that. Okay? I don't think we, we cleared to talk about all that yet. No, we clear. You <laughs> need to talk about that. Some people sure? need to do it we with lie. the lights on to see what you see. I'm going going to see yeah, yeah, right. You're right. You, you better right. see it. Because uh, a lot of things go in the dark. They ain't supposed to go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you, mean, think it, be grown. and you think about them red bottoms. You better make sure that the I, person I in the red bottoms. It better be red instead of orange. We, are we going there? Can we go there? If we going to church. Somebody let me know. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> church. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, seriously, no, seriously, no. I will stop in the middle of everything and tell her to put those back on. Oh Don't take those God. off. You would do that. Keep the red bottoms on. What? Yeah, of course. Yes. I need to see you. I gotta yes. keep it real. Yes. What is wrong? Yes. What? Unless they on your feet, they don't have no business on the floor. Wavy oh. flexy. Oh. Oh. Wavy oh. flexy oh. cool. Drops man. the mic, walks off. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Nice. You guys are out uh, of control. It was a pleasure having you guys down here tonight. Yes, Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Can I just say that we've been doing interviews all day, and this is the Lobbyist. sexiest interview <laughs> <laughs> that we have done all day. Yeah, just Why, give a hand clap to y'all. This is the prettiest interview. Thank you. Thank you. In the world thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. I want to be interviewed again. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we, can we, we come back out tomorrow? <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> we need to figure out another. Seven. But you know BKS on Radio Rocks. Come on, yo. That's, that's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's right. right. Thank you. And we thank y'all for having us. Seriously. You know, I'm going to pass the mic. I want everybody to say thank you. Because uh. this is real. This thank exists. You. This is happening. Thank you. <laughs> this is real tonight. Thanks for having us, ladies. Thank, thank you for you. coming. Yeah. Thank you. Once again, we're elite. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for having us. Thanks, Thanks for yeah. coming. And KG, thank you thank so you for much. Thank you for just discovering new talent because we need it now. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you. Like Thanks you for having me. Thanks for having do. my guys over. And, you know, we'll come back. I'll come top, back man. with the other. Please. For real, they got it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sure, definitely. Yes. We're going to push it and try. Keep doing what you do. Yeah. Thanks again, yes. guys. Thank Definitely. You. Hey, well, one more thing before we go, can we just say, please, everybody, everybody, follow us on Twitter. Yes. So yeah. we, the letter R, <laughs> Elite Number Three on Instagram. Our YouTube is We Are Elite No Three. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's the three for no. the seeing the pictures wait, and I'm the, the talking you to know, us. Wait, I'm, I'm you know what? We confused. are elite three. All right, we there you three go. Period. Yeah, <laughs> it'll, it'll take you there. It'll get you there. Just okay. just look for elite. Ask dot com. Oh, you got right. Just go to KG. Yeah. They'll pop That's up. That's it. That's how I heard the Once song. Again, That's how I heard the song. Just then. I heard you had a new group, <laughs> and I googled KG's new walks group. Walks off the mic, and that song came up. Oh, okay. Thanks again, guys. I got. I got. I got to say this to y'all, man. I rock. I rocked on a lot of interviews. I see a lot of cats come through here. Whatever, y'all got your thing together. Y'all, y'all mad talented. Y'all nice on, on the mic, and, and even even though y'all got swag, y'all mad positive too. You know, so so a lot of cats is gonna look at y'all and want to be like y'all. Yes. You know, and, and y'all under the best tutelage ever. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So. And thank you to you too. We gotta give big big shout out to the whole. Oh, he's holding yeah. it down. He the only dude in here before we got here. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, holding it down. He on the mixes, oh. man. Man, oh. we gotta give all the first for him. Norm always this, rolls. This is out. the Al show. Yes. This is the Al show. This Lady ain't the Norm Al. We gotta show him some love. Come on, y'all. Later. 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 They, they, him. they hate, they hate, but at the end of the day, they love. Wait, we see how they do you. You salute him on your own time. They can, they, can, they can hate a little bit looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why that's why I ain't mad at him. But but on my show, y'all y'all come on the site for show. We gonna and have some fun. And you will see <laughs> gorgeous go. Why are you yelling? <laughs> that, listen, that's just why me. you yelling. All up in my ear. Don't worry. Well, at, all up in the ear. Oh you even know. After the night, after the night, she losing the contract. She losing one of the contracts. So. Uh -oh. now, thank, you know how many people coming with me? You've oh been boy. downsized. Okay. You know thank you for coming with me. <laughs> Wait, we we have a look. You coming hold, with me? Hold on. Y'all talk too much. Yeah, for real. Let's listen. End. Listen, y'all too. Talk on your own time. Yeah, this is the Al show, not the Norman C show. Hey, y'all hey, Excuse me. Actually, it ain't y'all show. It's the KG and the Elite show right now. Oh. Yeah. Let's focus. Yeah. 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 I'll let y'all have well, that. Well, focus. Yeah. Once again, thank you for coming down. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Once thank again, thank you. Thanks we have another guest in the building. Yes. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's bring Miss Deidre Tate in the building. Miss Deidre Tate. Deidre. Thank All right, you guys. Again, tonight we're talking in. about verbal abuse. abuse we yes. had thinner, the cast of thinner blood in the building. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yes. So we um 
There are so many forms of verbal abuse. We got so many abuse. different things going on right now. And um, we're bringing Miss Deidre Tate in. Come on in and sit, D. Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, KG. We so got a lot going on right with, now. So, again, we're talking about verbal abuse. We yeah, had thinner blood in the building. KG. Elite. Elite. And now we have Miss Deidre, Deidre Tate. Tate. And when she, when she oh, gets sex. Deidre, see, Deidre is such. Deidre has been in the game for so long. She worked at Flavia Unit, so now her and KG are kind of sort of having a reunion live. Right. Right. So just hold, give us a minute, and we'll come right. Thank you so much. So Deidre Tate, a Howard University graduate, has been a thriving contributor to the entertainment industry for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. After 13 years as president and general manager of Queen Latifah's Flavor Unit Entertainment, Tate stepped into the entre entrepreneurial area with her company Unlimited Contacts. Deidre Tate is an independent film producer, and we're going to get to her right now while she is in the building. Hi, Deidre. Hey. Hi, how welcome. are you? Hi. We yes, ma'am. <laughs> nice are. to see you. Yes, I've been trying to get here for like two hours. We are so sorry you've been oh, lost, yes. Deidre. I know, I know, I know. Welcome. Well, sorry. Now, y'all having a full house. That's yes. Pull the mic up to you so we can hear you, so oh, the okay. listeners can hear you, too. Yes. We have a lot going on in the studio. Yes, Thank you for your patience. We're doing good. Oh, Thank you. I feel you. like I'm on The View. Yeah. Hey. Like that. We're better than The View. We were the show. Oh, you know what? Yes. I'm not messing yes. with you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your company first? Okay. Well, uh, my company is called Unlimited Contacts. Uh, it actually was born out of my 30 plus years in the music industry. As you know, Trey. Yes. Uh, Trey is one of my mentees. Yes, that's my mentor. That. I'm so excited right now. Yeah, so I I'm started, sorry. You know, I started out at MTV, then went to MCA, then I was at Motown for eight years, ran Michael Bivens label. Nice. And then um, that's when Gerald Busby signed Queen Latifah to Motown. And when I met Dana, she asked me if I would leave to come be the president and general manager of Flavor Unit. Oh, okay. So while I was there for 13 years, her career started transitioning from music to TV and film. Yes. So uh, the first project we did underneath Televi uh, Flavor Unit Television was produce the Vibe Awards. Yes. So we did that actually from inception. I was the supervisor and producer of that for three years. But after the first year, when the checks started coming in, I was like, wait a second, I'm still on salary. Something's wrong with this picture because I'm doing so much, much work. So that's when I restructured my deal and created Unlimited Contacts so that I would be able to get uh, my producer fee from the work I was doing on uh, the Vibe Award. So that was the first project. Then we sold the film to Lionsgate called wow. Wifey. Um, uh, we did a TV pilot called Wifey with BET and VH1 that Reginald Hudlin directed. That was also under Flavor Unit Television. And then I met an incredible director named Jerry Lamoff, who um, was just incredible. He had a script called Blackout that he wanted to produce. So I bought it to Shaq M and Dana to see if they wanted to produce it under Flavor okay. Unit Films. Okay. And they were getting ready to do a movie called The Cookout, which was okay. a comedy. So that. since they wanted to be in the comedy lane, I was like, well, you know, I really want to do drama. So that's when I really just took my company to the next level and I worked out my deal with them where I would give them the first right of refusal and I was able to go out and get the money. So I raised $1.2 million wow, to shoot wow. Blackout. And uh, it came out, we debuted in 2007 yeah, at the Tribeca you. Film Festival. And tomorrow is actually a big uh, screening at the Haiti Film Festival. It's a yes. free screening in Brooklyn nice. that they're having. Okay. And uh, for those of y'all that want to come out, that's at St. Francis College which is 180 Remsen Street in Brooklyn. And that uh, stars Zoe Saldana, uh, Jeffrey Wright, Melvin Van Peoples, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, it was a great ensemble cast. So that was my you. first independent film that I did. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Ain't she bad, y'all? Ain't she bad? She's bad. She's yeah, bad. You are. Now I'm on my third film. I just finished um, producing a movie called Zoo, which we shot the whole thing in Newark, New Jersey. Yes. So that's with uh, Tretch, with uh, Jermaine Hopkins, who I now also manage. Yes. And we just finished his reality show called Here Come the Hopkins which I'm pitching now for TV. I've actually Jermaine heard did of tell that. us about that. Yeah, yeah. So right Jermaine's there. doing great. He's and in North Carolina right holding it down. Wow. And then one of my favorite projects I worked on, I bought Trey on actually as oh, executive wow. producer. Yeah. Award winning short film called The, the Tombs, Tombs, which Jerry Lamont also produced and The Tombs will be having a network premiere tomorrow whoa, whoa, whoa. on CBS. On CBS. Norm, we're having some feedback. We're having some feedback, Norm. Oh, I hope it's not my phone. Something's touched. Something. Yeah. Oh, probably back here. Maybe so. You got it. Oh, we're sorry. So we let, me, let me repeat oh. that for those of you who yes. didn't hear. Can you hear now? Mm -hmm. No. Can you come listen to this? It's bad. Right, okay. But just go ahead. 
Okay, it must be something behind us, but it's okay. Let's Look just go ahead. I'm sorry. It's the sangria. Mm -hmm. it's the sangria. No, it's a Can you hold on for one second, DJ? We're having some technical difficulties. Okay, no one problem. second, please. Thank you. Why did that be me? Let me get that Hey guys. Okay. So I'm All right, sorry, so oh, everybody sorry for was the in it. <laughs> sorry for the technical difficulty. Yes. Is it back on now? But everything sounds clear. Yes, now I'm listening. Yeah, 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 nobody touched you know, anything. The zoo. The crop. The, the, the tombs. The yes. <laughs> the oh tombs. yes. Getting back to. The uh oh, tombs. there it goes nope. again. Is somebody's phone again? vibrating? Nah, it's. Uh, okay, just let's do it. The tombs. Yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. So yeah. now we're back to the tombs. Jerry Lamoth had a short film. Uh, that's based on and the tombs, which is, is the correctional facility down in Manhattan. Yes. And, uh, you know, so many of our young black men go in there unnecessarily. They get picked up on really BS warrants, and they just mm. get put through that whole system, and it really just breaks them down. And he had a similar experience, so he wanted to do a short film about it, which we're now trying to raise money to make it a feature. But um, my girl Trey told me that she was interested in getting into television and film, so I went to Trey to see if she would be interested in coming on board as executive producer. And she was nice. nice. Congratulations. Thank you. And the film is coming yes. on and CBS. We're having our network television debut tomorrow on Channel 2 in New York, CBS at 3 p.m. And um, it's going to be wait. on in another 14 markets, including L.A., and we're continually clearing more markets. So for I'm not sure. Um, you may have mentioned it, but can you tell me what what, what is it about a little bit? Yes, it's actually... Um, semi-autobiographical about Jerry LaMotha, um, my director, uh, from when he had an incident where he ended up getting booked and processed into what they call the tombs. And he went in on a BS charge and ended up in there uh, just getting switched around from room to room for over five days without being able to get out. So it's the story of all of these young men that come in around the same time and what each of their stories are. Right. So Nashawn Kearse is the star of the film, another young, talented actor named J.S. Anderson, and then a, a, a living legend named Arthur French, who actually has an acting school in Brooklyn. He's in the film as well. Wow. Looking yeah. forward to it. And you can see all of these trailers, the mm -hmm. tombs, Blackout, uh, my other film, Life Love Soul. I was about to say. Which is, uh, we won the Urban World Award, audience award uh -huh. and we actually just got a DVD deal the DVD is going to be coming out August 29th so I'm really excited congratulations oh the DVD is coming out yes awesome. August 29th I have the, the package to show you oh yes <laughs> hey. hey now and that um, starts my nephew Robbie Tate Brickle wow be here another time yes uh, Robbie had to work guys. Yeah. so Trey how did it feel to be executive producer well, you know, I just have come in contact with such great opportunities with Deidre since I met her at Flavor Unit. She just has allotted me so many opportunities, and she's always there to give me advice and always there to help tell me how to go to the next level. And not only Deidre, but there's so many positive women that have come into my life. And I, I think that the light that you give off is the light that you give back. So, mm -hmm. like, Would you want to continue to do? Um, oh, yes, yeah. yes. I'm definitely going to stay in TV. I have, you know, I have some projects I'm Writing out that hey, I talked to you. Are you emailing me something? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Very nice. That so is I, awesome. A couple of projects that I talked to Deidre about that I'm ready to just yeah. get out there and do my thing. Shout out to our yeah. very own Trey nice. K. Yay. Yay. Trey, Trey, Trey. Twist, twist. Oh. You know twist, Trey twist. is a walking reality yes. show. This could be part of her reality show right up in here. Yeah. 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 She, she don't even know, do she? She really yes, don't know. She really is. I've been seeing the sign that says MNP Landscape. That's the best kept secret. 
That's the fake out. I know. I thought yes. it was a setup. That's, you got, <laughs> oh, that's you the actually, secret. You actually got to know. Then when you walked in, you was like, oh. Okay. Exactly. As soon as I came in, I felt the love. I what? Like the Tell us about um, <laughs> some other things that you're working on. I know you do some things with Andrea. Oh, yes. Um, with Ace Media Corp. Um, that's my best friend from Howard University. We graduated together and uh, we've been partners. She's actually my producing partner on both Blackout and Life Love Soul. But she is a minority owned and certified media corporation and she used to be the exclusive agency for all of the Turner Broadcasting mm -hmm. uh, properties, including all of the Tyler Perry stuff. They brought her on board when they got uh, the first Tyler Perry show because mm -hmm. they didn't have wow. any blacks that were able to sell the advertising. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. bought her company and, and then she ended up picking up all the Tyler shows plus four on and everything else That's awesome and uh, by the grace of God the woman who did her deal at Turner is now the president at NBC Universal so as of this past January she's now the exclusive media agent oh, for great. all of the NBC Universal Woo! And she nice how about that wow That's nice Woo! nice yeah. my nice. girl is bad see I'm very very bad we, doing a lot of stuff. we have all the housewives shows chef Roble, everything on E oxygen nice Bravo, wow USA Network we handle all of those shows so all of the advertising will be uh, doing a lot of work with them during the Essence Festival, you know, just representing them on the multicultural uh, side. Now, <laughs> no, don't be sweating my mouth. I, 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 I am have sweating her. I'm sorry, Trey. I'm sweating her. Yeah. Okay. And then I also <laughs> I'm sweating her. You know, my passion is independent artists. Yes. From, uh, the time that I left the major labels and went to run Flavor Unit, um, we had so many talented artists that actually uh, we never got a chance to put out. So I started working back then with a lot of them, and now I consult like three different uh, small companies and I do artist showcases once a month where I feature independent artists oh, but I have an incredible gospel artist named Tanae Williams mm -hmm. who is going to be performing tomorrow she's actually Howard Hewitt's niece yes and uh, Trey was in her video yes I was oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I told you so my I mentor gives me so that, many ideas like so many that, opportunities yeah, so we have oh, the four beautiful that. women and Trey was one of the four but um, the video will be coming out really soon I just got the final edit oh. I'll, I'll show it to you before oh. I leave Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. That is amazing. She's performing tomorrow at a breast cancer event that my girlfriend Joanne English Rollison is hosting at her yes. home in Inglewood okay. Cliffs. So the next time she comes in town, Bling. we need her here. Absolutely. The next time. Yeah. And now you're going to know this how to get here, right? Oh, please. I know how to get here. Do I? <laughs> she know like five I ways. Was, I was a block away and turned back and went all the way back to the... She know the five ways to get here now. Oh, no, Ooh. you didn't. And then took 82 East. And, and We're going to talk later. Wow. Wait, it's, it's a simple way. Hey, Deidre, Deidre, yeah. listen to this. Wait until they see Robbie. Oh, <laughs> yes, my nephew. He's oh, wow, sexy. really? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. I have a question for you, Miss Tate. Yes. How does it feel to be Ebony's Magazine Outstanding Woman in Marketing and Communication? Oh, wrap it up. Yes. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful honor. And the best thing is that I had about 25 members of my family attend the luncheon. Nice. They had so my grandfather, my grandmother. That was beautiful. My parents, they were all there. So that was oh. really the most the most uh proud one of the proudest moments that i've had besides having my son and I wish oh, you could. Nice. I wish. I wish y'all could just oh. see her family, <laughs> and I wish y'all could see her mother. Her mother looks younger than me. She does. And how old is? Um, and uh, I'm a I better not tell Sandy. Howardite, and my mom and dad left this morning to go to her fiftieth class reunion at Howard. That's how wow. old her mom is. And her mother is yes. fly. Yes, she looks. Yes, my mother is seventy years old, and she looks like she's forty. She I know that's yes. right. Bless her. her. Yes. Yes. Snap, 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 you know. You know what, ladies. Yes. Yes. She has such a story to tell and so much so much history. We got to bring her back. Bring yes, back. we do. Yes. We, we have to bring, bring her back. back. At the top of the show. Yes. yes. Right. Right. At the right. top of the show, we got to wow. bring her back. Yeah, now you know how to get here, do. so yes. you you know. I and get in now. I just want to no say, back. I just want to say this to the young ladies up here because I'm older than all of them. If you could believe, yeah, why did you make that say point? This every I'm, because, because I'm giving a fool, y'all. I'm oh. getting ready to tell y'all something. Age. It is so very important to have a mentor. Okay. Second that who really wants to be a mentor. Deidre does things not to get something in return, but to actually elevate another woman to another level. So that's so uh, important I like to that have to have a mentor. Who that really doesn't have anything to don't want to get anything out of it? Well, yeah. I'm about the to bring I'm looking for my heart. Tra Trey's my mentor. See, see, oh, see oh. ladies. Mm, sorry, but <laughs> no one is speaking. Y'all talk, oh, talking about y'all mentor. We about to bring another mentor, uh, a mentor, you know what I'm saying, mine, you know what I'm saying, when I need advice on the industry, on the game, just on, on things, you know what I'm saying, and he's family to be cast. We about to bring Cool V, the legendary cut master Cool V. Oh, come on. Yeah. 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 Ye
because anytime I got a, got a problem, I'm like, guests and guests and guests down I here know. tonight. Wow. <laughs> Let's make sure. Can, can we move that other seat out the way? Somebody help him out. Yeah, move yeah, that other seat out the way. Yeah, just pull that out. Yep. You can stay right there. <laughs> yes, we, this is a legendary show tonight. Like, we have some veterans in the building. KG, yes. Cool V, Deidre Tate. Like, this is iconic. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and believe it or not, it's all intertwined. Mm -hmm. So it's all family. And the show that we're bringing to BKS1 is really about lady representation in hip-hop. Oh, so nice. I have two ladies that's coming on the show with me. I got a lady host, and I have a lady DJ. Wow. Oh, so awesome. I'm going to be the only radio show on the market like that. All right. Yeah. So Kudos. That's how we do it at BKS1 it's in the Roger, Movement Magazine. Yeah. And it ain't about no guy trying to get with no girl. It ain't I none know of that. that's right. It's about... We don't have enough proper rep representation by the females right. in the industry. Yes, and I agree. it's hard for a girl to make it and not have to do things that's beneath herself or, you know, mm. yeah. to, to get that right. But can a girl I mean, really, right. can, can they really make it without they yes. can do it? Yes. You know, because I'm an example. And right? so am I. Like, Hello. I'm, saying. I'm like trying to be. here. We need more of her. Yes, right. right. We need more artists. But how can but we get more, more of her? People that are telling young ladies that message and that everything that they do now is going to come back to them and it's not going to disappear. It might have been divine intervention that I came here tonight. I don't know because Norm told me. Of course. Me, oh, v, you got to come up tonight. You know, me and Kay is peoples and, yes. you know, we go all the way back. I know them before they made records. You know what I'm saying? And you with Flavor Unit. I know Flavor Unit when it was just Ramsey, Mark, and, you know, everybody at yeah. the house you know yes. what i'm saying so it started and right that's 45 there. king mark he's talking yes right. yes <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> me and mark go back 20 something years 25 yeah. to 26 years so it's just it's, it's a full circle it's, mm -hmm. it's all good so you stay right there but that that message definitely needs to be no, you know the, the message spread it to, more it because be. a like lot of young girls the women wear high heels right and it, it got to show young girls that they can do it without with, showing that body exactly without that man representation right yes you know what i'm saying y'all could do it for yourself y'all gotta bond together yourself you Absolutely. can't name me one r&b or hip-hop group that never broke up that's a female that you can't name me one no you can't Wait, tlc they, have, no, they broke up they broke yeah. up they that's how i had left before they she passed yeah. on, oh okay on, yeah. no i said yeah. wait i was just questioning you but i wasn't not saying <laughs> yeah like no, that no, but, I'm not but this going against you i'm with you but oh, i'm giving okay. you a question to ask yourself you're right it started with the supremes exactly yes it did that's what i'm saying but if they had mentoring to go through these problems and things Absolutely. that you're going to go through on the road, things you're going to go through with your record deal, things you're going to go through with money, things you're going to go through at that right. time of the month, it, you have to talk about it. Yes. Right. And you have to know. You can't just expect people to get together and somebody put a group together and then they're going to go out on the road and be together 300 days and they're not going to fight. Mm -hmm. right. Exactly. It's not yes. Yeah. But you got to say, okay, y'all going to get times when y'all going to fight. But how would you handle it? Exactly. Get past it. Yeah. Yes. Right. You have to make sure they know the bigger picture. Know the, the bigger picture. Exactly. The business. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. See, and separate that's why, the two. That's why I told her to stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. I, I got a question. And th this goes out. And this this for my ladies uh, of Al. Okay. And, and our guests, our esteemed guests right here. Yes. Why isn't it more present, current female representation in hip hop besides Nicki Minaj? She's like... When you say female hip hop today, only name you really can come up with is Nicki Minaj. And that's not really hip hop to me. No, no, it's hip hop, baby. It is. I, 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 I don't I, know I want, what she no, says. No, I got what you're saying, but you can't separate the hip hop. You can't. It's hip hop. <laughs> okay. It's, and it's all the hip hop we have, and maybe you need some other representation you do. of mm -hmm. more different kinds right. of hip hop. Right. But that's what we got right now. Mm -hmm. And we have to be able to put more to the forefront. We have to get the right people in place to put that. It's out mm -hmm. there. The talent right. is there. Yes, it is. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But we don't have Hello, the people Ms. that. You, you got a pretty girl. You know, she gets destroyed before she even gets to the second record. Right. Yeah. Because of the, you know, the things that the, go yes. on. Right. But yes. also, there are a lot of artists that are out there that are underground and that are independent. Right. But they are not being uh, sought after by the major labels because they're looking for somebody with a Nikki shape and a right. Nikki face. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're not seeing that kind of push. Like when Dana was out. Right, Dana, right, right, right. That's when she kind of broke the mold and they started signing other unique looking artists. But right. now that they have the Nicki Minaj's and the Little Kim actually kind of set it back to that tone where she became the it 
style of hip hop for women right. and I think they were just looking for that mold that's why mm -hmm. you can go find talent on YouTube and you will be able to find those people but you're just not going to see them with that money behind them. and like right. you said they're going to find Nicki Minaj is not versus what she's saying mm -hmm. it's what she looks like exactly so but to add to what she's saying and she's absolutely right but the one thing y'all missing is they still came through with a crew of men. Yes, I was gonna See, say that too. You have to have a crew of women. Women, that yes, make exactly, their yeah. exactly. Come through themselves. That's right. You see That's what I'm right. Saying? You don't got that. You and young girls are not looking for that because nobody's trying to put that together. Yes. Right. you're not putting together a panel of ladies to say, okay, we're gonna put these artists out. We got a label. We're gonna put all female artists out. Uh -huh. And that goes back mm. to mentoring too. Mm -hmm. got women to, to mentor these young girls if, if they that don't are see already it, hip hop. They don't yes. believe it. That's right. They don't, yeah. If they don't see it happen, they can't believe it hap can happen. So they feel they got to go get it with a crew of men mm -hmm. and come through. That's yes. the norm. That's the norm. Well, you mostly yeah. look, it seemed like they mostly look towards the men, though. I mean, you have to. I mean, well, I think it's the attitude the of women, too, back, honestly. Right. Me personally, I feel, I feel like that's it's also the attitude of women because a lot of times women don't make it comfortable for the next woman to come through. And yes. that's, that's not, that's exactly not, say it, that's, that's just really, that should just right. stop. Absolutely. Because if you see beauty or you see greatness in another female, admire her, compliment her, say, you know what, you bad, you're fly, you excellent. But you have to do that. But people don't, but people don't, but people don't do that because they're so intimidated. That's why, why I love my mentor. Why but, be intimidated? But, but they didn't even intimidate us sometimes. They don't see nobody else embracing the mass. Yes. Right. Exactly. They embrace the individual. Right. They mm -hmm. don't embrace the mass. Like just you when the woman is out there doing good, whether she's doing what you like or not, you're still supposed to support her. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And then she will understand that she can change what she's doing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But if you put that hate toward her, mm -hmm. then she's she not just going to be like, oh, well, and forget God. I'm going to keep I'm doing what I'm doing. Right now, so right. wait your turn. Right. right. See, she's the one that can pull the next one up. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But you can't. You cannot put that hate in the air of saying like, yo, you're not making the records that I like. You're not talking about what I need to talk about. Records can be changed. Yes, yes, can be yes, changed. yes. Absolutely. It's another day we? coming. Absolutely. Hello. So I do have to say one thing, though. I really did like Nicki Minaj's first album. I Nikki played that thing to the wheels, fellow. First off. of all, mm -hmm. Nikki can really rhyme. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. can. Yeah. I don't want to take for the away commercial. From her. Yeah, but she can rhyme. But success. I like the commercial stuff too. Exactly. Right. But if I you, like dance music and all but that success stuff. Success. It's the business. It's the business. <laughs> Just what you in it for? Like, okay, yeah. if this is what's getting it, and yes. I can do that, yes. and I'm, I'm going to do it, it right. and let yeah. me do it. Absolutely. Because she's already looked good. She already been had Quran for years before anybody put her on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was thinking about her. Absolutely. Yeah. So Wayne had to come all the way from Florida down south. Yes. Florida, come get her from Queens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ain't nobody over here. Preach. To put on. Preach. Hello. So yeah. why why can't Latifah, Light, like, like the, the Diggers, foundation. come together, right, and say, let's start this label for the females and just make this focus on the females? Hold up. Hold up. That's a them question. They, mm -hmm. they, can, <laughs> yes. they can do that, but why? Mm hmm. First of all. First and foremost, Latifah doing three movies a year. You know what I'm saying? Cover girl. You know, cover girl. She got her schedule tight. Right, right, now, right. Now, why don't you start it? Get it moving. I guarantee you she'll be down with it. To put something behind you gotta put it. Some, but you, you got to put it together. You got to do something yourself. You can't look for her to say, yo, I'm going to start a label. Who started a label for her? Exactly. Mm. Preach. I mean? Like, I mean, you, you got to be real with what we're dealing with here. We got right. issues in our communities. We got mental illness. We got a lot of issues. Yes. But... Above all of that, we got ladies that just can't come together. Mm -hmm. We got right. ladies that hate. Where are right. we going to yeah. find reality shows? For it though, we, like HBC start Radio. it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> foundation has that's what to I'm start talking about somewhere. all the time. I'm at, I got female representation on my show. I'm a DJ. I'm a worldwide DJ. That uh -huh. don't mean nothing to me. I'm saying I'm, I got a bona fide female DJ and I got a bona fide female host. Now, I, nobody ever is going to question my level of hip hop. I'm a student of the game and an upholder of the name. So at the end of the day. I can go. I'm. I, I studied the people that created hip hop. Mm. I studied the people that came after me. I study the people right now. I study the situations that's going on. I read about every group that ever broke up and why. So I know the situations. I know the problems. But I'm not the Messiah that can solve them all. Right. Women right. have to get together and solve their own problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. I'm not a woman. Yes. My success that's wasn't bought in the game by a woman. I'm saying, but I know it's there. Somebody got to speak on it. A yes. lot of people Absolutely. not going to speak on it because it don't benefit them financially. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when I see strong women, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not being uh, what they call it, a hypocritical. 
because I did a lot of things with women that I'm not proud of. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not here to give you one side of the story. I can give you both sides of the story. Right. Yes. I can give you, I done this, but, but I should have been doing this. Exactly. Right. right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And you're not going to tell me the same thing that you did when you was 20 that you're doing when you're 40. Exactly. It's a different yes. way that you yes. look at life. Absolutely. Yes. So you can't hate a dude for talking about something at 20 that you're not talking about and you're older than him. That's right. true. You but see, to. with women, whatever they did when they were 20 mm. still haunts them when they're 40. Mm. It's different for men. Oh. Mm. No, no so that's why, no, that's why you can sit there and say you did do foul stuff back in the day, but look where you are now. But if it was a woman, she'd be, she'd be washed up. She don't necessarily she'd be have to Nobody talk about what she did on the bad side. I just, just say it's a double standard. It always is. been. Mm. Always been. Yes. Yes. Always been. Yes. Yes. Always worst. been. We can't get out. We can't get past that. And that's just that. another thing we're working against. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to work against that. But yeah. if more women come to Together, the mm. younger girls that's coming up can see actually, yo, we can make it happen. Mm-hmm. You might spark that next brain that change all of this. That's right. Because right. then right. once you get an artist that's thinking old and acting young and doing the responsible things, right. you'll see it. It's there. It's out there. Yes. I, I, mean, I, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. But I mean, this is the age of second chances. Right. And, and I look at when, when I look at all these reality shows and, and female oriented shows, you see a lot of women on these shows that had second chances. Yeah. So I, I think and I think what are the, they doing with a lot of them? I nothing, think the nothing. door is actually I got you. But most of the reality shows are there because the networks really don't want to pay somebody to write. They're not there because they're trying to get a point across to the community. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's, it's not reality. It's scripted reality. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. No, abs- absolutely. Yeah. Scripted, then a scripted. And, and it's scripted reality. And during that script, okay, we're going to have drama today. Right. So it's not real, real life. Yes. And yes. this is what people you know what need to understand. It's only it's not what they trying to put in your mind. See, you, what we have to do is put something in their mind. Mm. Yes. So they can get us back to the way, yo, that ain't reality. Reality is we got to put more positive images toward oh, our yes. young females. Mm-hmm. Right. We have to because if we don't, I got daughters. I got. You know, no, I, I ain't no saint. I got daughters, though. I feel right. a different way about my daughters than I felt about women right. when I was coming yes. up. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. It, it's different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. You you got you grow. And about the power of technology, it can be done. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we have so much technology and outlets right now. That's why BKS One is going to be the number one station all around. Yes, in a minute. I yes. know. claim it. Right? We claim it. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, yep. yes. We know this already because we're going to bring the masses to us. Yes. We, you know up. what I'm saying? And I'm going to come on here. Yes. I'm going to come on here. Y'all going to come on my show. You gonna come on my show? Yeah, everybody. I, I want women to come on my show to represent themselves in a way that young girls could go on a computer and look and say, "Wow, I'm skating through yeah. all day yeah. on four wheels, let's rolling do, through on skates." Yeah. That's what I do. It's never gonna be a time that you're not gonna see women on my show. Cause like I said, I got a woman host and a woman DJ, so I'm representing women every time, even though the situation or, or the subject might not be about women that day. I'm got proper representation. Who yes. are the hosts in the DJ? Uh, Candy from East Orange that used to rhyme with Apache. Oh, okay. Gangsta bitch was our recipe, my brother. Yeah. And um, uh, Bridget Twister that used to DJ with Jay Scratch. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And she DJ for Salt and Pepper for a second. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So she will be up here. She's bona fide. Monday nights. Both because. of them are bona fide. Yes. Yes. And we'll be watching. Yes. Oh, All right. Through, watch. Yeah. Do whatever. Door. Be a part of it. Like I said, it's the whole BKS One family. And like I said, I'm only here right now because I got to go close my bar right quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming down. And finish up with her about you know putting them images out there mm-hmm. and BKS One. I'm gonna be on Monday night. So. Ow. You know, okay. And where's the what's bar? the name of your show? Yeah, that's what what's the name of your show. Monday night is oh, you at What's the name of your show Monday night? HB H three B Radio. HB three radio. H three B. He ain't got a holler back radio. He ain't got a toot his own horn about his bar. Let me tell you. I know his. I got no. I got so much love. I hear so much. It was so much fun at the end zone and Elizabeth. Man, you gotta go there. Yeah, you gotta go there. Monday, Wednesday nights. I got one dollar Wednesdays. I got drinks for a dollar. I got the hottest Wednesday in Jersey. So I, I, you know, there's no reason why on a Wednesday night if you ain't doing nothing. You oh, can't I'm slide coming through. through. Is it on oh, Street? No, I see you on Wednesday. I'm gonna come okay. down. I'm gonna come down and get My a word. dollar soda. Now wait a minute. Just soda is with you. I'm gonna claim. I'm gonna claim this. <laughs> My word. Now, I'm going to give you my word. So now you know I'm going I'm to have to do it. You know the word. You know how we do the word thing. Yeah. If, if I don't do it, they're going to be like Storm. You know what I'm saying? Not next Wednesday. The Wednesday after next, we're going to do the Cypher show at Enzo. Let's do it. Oh, we're going to okay. do the Cypher show because it's on a Wednesday. We're going to do the Cypher show at 
at Endzone. Yeah. No, oh, I gotta no get a babysitter. I'm coming. No problem. Hey, listen, <laughs> I just got back from Japan yesterday. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Norm called me, said, "Yo, V, you gotta come through today." You know what I'm saying? Get on. You know, I called up to the show a couple times. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I had to make that presence. He told me Kay was gonna be up here. Everybody's gonna. And I'm just gonna show my face. Thank and, you. And, and be Thank you for coming. Yes. Thank y'all for having me. Oh. I mean, you gotta I, come I, back. Oh, yes, yes, you have to come back. I, I'm gonna be living in here. I'm probably put something. I might add or put an add on over there. Put a bed. And then he's and then, and then, he's, and then V's the type. Be like, yo, I got Norm. Norm, I got a record idea. Let's go in the studio. Let's yo, engineer. I got a record idea. Let's do it. There's you a know? Okay. Yes. Yes. One more time. Yes. yes. One more time. Your radio. Um, H3B Radio I, I going to be on Monday I nights, and yeah. also during our show, we're going to try to bring women to sports because oh. we have a sports segment on our show too. We're going to try to bring women into sports because a Uh-oh. lot of women don't really support sports. Yes, we like do. We do well, support sports. Oh, I'm about to say. Oh. I'm saying you got to go with the masses. Yes. Right. Right. And if, and if you don't know, we got my host. That's my family, Dre. He's going to come on with the sports segment. You know, it's called Sports Life and some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice. going to be all right. It's going to be fun. And we only on for an hour. So everybody tune in. We will. And we out. Oh, and come down nice. to the end zone on Wednesday end zone night. And at, All Star. At All Star. Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. 7.30, really. It's 8 o'clock. Come in there. We got dollar drinks for two hours. Dollar drinks. Yeah. Well, I might have to Any kind? I can get a margarita? No, we got a list. Some oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> is the wine a dollar? Is the wine a dollar? No, we got a list of drinks. Oh. So, so, well, so stick to the list. Well, stick, to the stick to the list. So, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. V, I'm saying two weeks. We have BKS night up, up there yes. in two weeks. Yes. I'm, I'm going to make a spot for you. We do it like that. And we in there. All right. Oh, we'll yes. be down there. The ladies will come down. The there ladies going to need some bodyguards. We're going to crash the cypher Well, on show. some Wednesdays, can, can you can you come to, to Tipsy's and come check out my event? Where's that? Where Tipsy's? Tipsy, Downtown. Tipsy's 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 is my place. Yes. On Wednesday nights, we're going to be doing after work mix and mingler business with a live band. And okay. I will be singing on that. Wow. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. So, so, look, yes. I can come to your spot. Early. And then I could come to your spot. Hello. Why? But. like that. That's networking in the air. But I I don't know. We talking about the end zone right now, and you're gonna have to sing at the end zone. Yeah, you might have to do that. We do talent showcases and all that. Uh-oh. But we do have another club, All Star. Uh oh. On you know, right around the, like a couple blocks away. So we got two clubs in Elizabeth. So if you, you know, nice. when all the big performers come through, we send them through All Star, and then they come through the end zone and chill out. You know, we got the bar right. lounge thing. You oh. know? See, when my movie was playing at Jersey Gardens, we should have been having. Yes. Yeah, they said, but the, well, well, you got more movies coming. We, well. we we had it in Elizabeth at some what, club. What, what, Oh, which I movie, forgot the name is, of it. Dolce. Uh, Dolce. Life, Love, Soul. It was yeah. playing at Jersey Gardens. Oh, yeah, they did. Because I thought when they did the Zoo movie, they did the premiere over there, too. Yeah. No, yeah. we did that at another spot. Yeah. Well, they, they, they had a showing yeah. over there at the uh, Gardens. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully. Uh, everybody came down. Like huh? I said, hopefully everybody, the ladies of Al, Cypher, come down to the end zone. Check you out. Come yeah. down, Support. baby. Thank you everybody again for welcome. coming. Cool V. H3B Radio Monday nights is never gonna be the same. Yes. Thank you. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Better go close that bar. Yeah, I'm close Two that. o'clock. Close, close it up. up. <laughs> you know you don't want to get fined, right? Take <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> care. Yeah. Well, how late are you ladies on? Oh, uh, well, now, now Deidre, where can people find you? Yes, and then we're gonna. You know they can find me r- direct at my email, Deidre Tate, D E D R A T A T E at gmail.com i always give out my email address and not my number because if you take the time to compose an email that means that you're serious, serious. yes right. everybody could call you on the phone and i met you the other night but if you really take time to say what it is that you're working on and how can i help you i will definitely reach back out to you i'm gonna yes. email you thank you it, don't it, be harassing her yeah and, 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 and let me tell you i'm, I'm gonna one. tell you this I'm, you know me i keep it real and it's after hours so it's not Technically, the owl show no more. So, throwing on no could speak. Oh, come on. You can't be doing that. Ah! One o'clock, y'all show, was, y'all show is over. But so it's still now, part of our we show. Ain't so, 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 yeah, so we now, ain't sign off. We ain't do the official owl show. Let me tell you about, about this young lady right here. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Trey has been preaching to me and saying, my mentor, and this is good people, mm-hmm. and all the things she's done. You know me. I, I check. I'm a research person and everything. So, I just want to know y'all got to realize it's such an honor. Yes. Right now to have her here. Yes. Oh, speaking, yeah, yeah, speaking to y'all and just just telling y'all just the history and the things she's done and give y'all some advice and and, and and some pointers on some things and everything. Let's really clap it up. Yes. Yes. From Ms. Deidre Thank T. You. Yes. 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 And I will be back at a decent hour. And she'll be back with Robbie too. Yes, I will. Be 
Yes. But before, and you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, what, what you call that? Map quest her the directions before. Be, yeah. Before the next oh, I got, I got <laughs> Google's. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. It was a pleasure being on your show. I will definitely thank you. be sending, blasting out the link so people can tune in and, you know, try to help build up your viewership. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yes. Thank you. We have to have a final thought. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Miss definitely. Tate, before you go, um, I actually just want to personally thank you, even though I'm, we've never actually met, but I'm actually, I actually admire how you treat Trey. I actually admire you guys' relationship, the mentor, the mentee, just everything and pretty much what she learned from you and how she became a better woman today from just little things that she learned from you. Mm-hmm. And she's, yeah. So which well, means she if she's, yeah, that means you're, yeah. That it took to be a success. Thank you. So I'm not surprised that she's oh, doing thank the, you. the movement magazine, the radio show, being an incredible mom oh, to thank three you. wonderful boys. She's just, a, she's a superwoman as we all have the potential to be. To be. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. We're going to have right. um, the final thoughts about the Thank topic. you for coming down again. Thank for, you. All right. Have but a stay, good night. Stay, stay, stay oh, till we do. If you want to stay, oh, you can okay. stay. Stay till we do yes. our final thoughts. We actually got to do the knock it off and the final thought, but we don't know what to do that real fast. Just, let's do the do final thoughts. Yeah, I want to do yes, it up, just the final thoughts. Yeah. Go first. Um, my final thought is that since our topic was verbal abuse tonight, that if anybody is saying anything to you that makes you feel bad, you're being verbally abused. because some, Just because somebody is not knocking you upside your head or beating you up doesn't mean you're not being abused in some kind of way. If you're being torn down, depicted, lied on, lied to, and by anybody, not just a partner, by a friend, a parent, a brother, a sister, you're being verbally abused and you need to speak up for yourself and seek help. Okay. Mm-hmm. Verbal abuse comes in all shapes, forms, sizes, from man and man, woman and woman, animals to humans. It's just it's just a really it's something that needs to actually stop. And if you're frightened, you need to get help. Yes. Um, and I'm going to actually disclose that number. It's 1-800-799-SAFE. That's 1-800-799-7233. And um, like I just said, it comes in all shapes and sizes. And just because someone is not hitting you doesn't mean that you're not being abused. And like I said, something is so simple as someone hanging up on you is a sign of disrespect. And at the end of the day, it will lead to abuse in some shape or way or form. Yes. So just know your worth and value yourself and just... Kind of learn to love a little bit more. Stop judging everybody. Everybody make mistakes, and it is what it is. Governess? Love yourself before you over love someone else, and that's yes. for a man or a woman. Um, like uh, Sierra said, don't be afraid. Go and get the help. Um, you said the number was one eight hundred. Safe? Seven. No, 1 800 799. Safe. S is in Sam, A is in Apple, F is in Frank, E is in Elizabeth. Okay, that's my final thought. Miss Hayes. Do I have to have a final thought on all those topics? Okay. Or can I? Can I? Can Whatever. I? Whatever. Okay. okay. What's your final thought? My final thought um, just listen to the ladies that just spoke about verbal abuse because what they said is definitely real and is genuine and. Being a person who was a victim of that, I can definitely say know yourself, know your worth, and just just move forward and let, let it go. Just cut them off. It's easier said than done, but cut that person off. You need positivity in your life, and all negative energy is transferred, so if you feel it, let it go. Also, because I'm in t- entertainment, very heavy in an artist as well, learn the business. Learn the business. Know your product. Hone your product. Make sure your product is worth being seen because you never know who's watching right. yes. and looking and hearing and listening. All right. As far as verbal abuse is concerned, I just want to say that, you know, once again, it doesn't have to be a significant other. Verbal abuse can be as far as your mother, father, or anything. In order, and you have to know, be aware. Be aware of the signs, okay, that they're controlling or whatever it is. Know what the signs is. Go out there and try to seek some type of help. Um, some people ask, why are you in this relationship? We know it's hard. We know it's difficult. But once you know that you are being verbally abused, like they say, go out there, get some type of counseling. Seek a mentor, like Trey said. Go out there and talk and, you know, and just speak up. If you know somebody who is being abused, try to help them. You know, try to give them some type of knowledge and some type of awareness or literature. Um, 
but verbal abuse can be very, you know, it's, 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 it's sad because a lot of women or a lot of men are in it and they just really are blinded to it. It's like a silent abuse and it needs more awareness and it needs to break the cycle. That's my final thought as far as verbal abuse. But remember, this is also Mother's Day weekend. So I want to shout out oh, to yes. all the mothers. I hope you have a beautiful and lovely Mother's Day weekend. My name is Miss Lee. Chris Christie, the governess. Drama free C. Happy Mother's Day. Trey K. And Miss Hay. And only women wear, wear high, high heels. Ow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, ma. Hasta luego.